Planning to appear for UPSC CSE, but confused about where to start? Look no further. Vision IS Delhi presents the GS Foundation course 2025, 2026, and 2027. Avail centralized access to learning with classroom and online resources. Study material that is expert researched and thoroughly analyzed bases the UPSC exam pattern. Personal and individualized guidance every step of the way to cater to your technical and specific needs. Explore the holistic learning modules we have designed for the UPSC CSE aspirant. Batch starts 20th December 5 p.m. and 17th November 9 a.m. Offline come live online classes. With the right ingredients, success is yours to have. Enroll today in the Vision ISGS Foundation course 2025, 2026, and 2027. So, very good evening to all of you. I hope you're all doing good. Yes, I want to start with. Uh, a dialogue of Shah Rukh Khan's movie. उसका इंग्लिश ट्रांसलेशन ये है कि किसी भी चीज को अगर आप बहुत शिद्दत से चाहो तो सारी कायनात उसको आपसे मिलाने में जुट जाती है। So if you want something very passionately, the whole universe conspires and lets you achieve that. How many of you believe this? How does universe helps you? 
obviously not by aliens right you are doing something which you know sends a message and you seek or you get some help so that process of wanting something badly that process of taking steps to achieve your goal is very important ye nahi ki aap bas soch rahe ho you have to do certain things to achieve that right why am i starting with this particularly for this section reason being today i am going to discuss questions of ancient medieval and culture and it is the most dreaded subject uh, which i have come across whenever aspirants come to me how to prepare ancient medieval and culture what all do we have to do because questions are very difficult very unpredictable very scattered very random themes are asked so how to go about it first of all you have to take that step step of at least doing ncrts that is it abhi tak ke liye itna hi that you have to do ncrts when it comes to ancient and medieval but when we talk about culture this you know except ncrt there are certain themes which we have to do right so what are those predictable themes through which you can still be very you know sure that okay i have done this and i will be able to manage this much in the exam because as i told you yesterday that competition is amongst yourselves you know within you all sitting over your and they also will be only doing that part so have that kind of faith and start your subject theek hai so how many questions have been asked by upsc in this section more than modern in the last 7 years i was telling you yesterday itself that you know the weightage of modern indian history section is decreasing and when it comes to amc together there are around 67 questions right in the ancient medieval and culture section the culture has more weightage right around 36 questions uske baad aata hai aapka medieval that is 18 and then ancient so ancient and medieval are bhai bhai they go hand in hand sometimes upsc asks more of medieval sometimes upsc asks more of ancient you never know next year they ask ancient and medieval more and culture ke five questions so nothing is predictable right but you all have to do certain essentials which we will be discussing in today's analysis right and if you have a look at the overall weightage of indian history in the last 7 years it comes out to be 117 questions that means around 17 to 18 questions every year from your indian history section right so what are those predictable themes so when it comes to art and culture there is buddhism and jainism obviously you have unesco's intangible cultural heritage list as well as unesco's world heritage site dances and festivals tribes and their regions architecture temple monuments etc now when it comes to buddhism and jainism definitely you get a question or one or two questions every year but they are not coming only from your ncrt so for this section there is one book which i would recommend and you have to do to at least be sure of certain things in buddhism jainism because it is too vast either you prepare it as a topic come what may from whichever book or at least beyond ncrt you have to read a book which i will be telling you right when it comes to unesco's in tangible cultural heritage list or world heritage site again the questions which upsc has asked have been too deep and random random matlab there are so many sites world heritage sites right ab upsc ka man karega wo kuch bhi puchhenge so there are certain things which you have to make notes of to wo notes kaise banane and what are again uh, the framework which you have to have to again be in the safe zone right dances and festivals ke liye you need not do anything extra whatever you come across in your current affairs or your let's say pt365 of culture or you know your monthly current affairs magazine that would be enough 
right when it comes to classical dances yes so there are only how many classical dances eight classical dances right so wo dances aapko prepare karne hai i will be telling you how to prepare classical dance and classical music not by performing but by <laughs> telling you what needs to be noted down uh so all are these things which you have to keep it in your mind tribes and their regions this is again a very tricky area for which upsc relies on newspaper so the tribes which comes in news for some or the other reason or the tribes which are on let's say twitter or x or any google news or any you know uh, dedicated or concerted effort being taken to help a certain tribe those tribes becomes important right now coming to architecture so it goes without saying that you need to know about our basic architecture what is nagra style dravida style vesara style magar question wo nahi aate hain question comes on temples their locations their geographical aspect their importance again here newspaper reading or current affairs is what upsc is aligning with right so for this section art and culture ancient medieval like your modern indian history upsc is using newspapers and current affairs a lot right to make it more relevant theek okay? hai so this is the list of unesco's intangible cultural heritage uh you know traditions so there is one inscribed list or representative list so one is representative list it's also known as inscribed list to so, is list ka matlab hota hai the traditions which have been given due recognition by unesco from the indian side right but then there are nominated traditions as well so don't have any kind of misconception that upsc is only asking from this list which is compact upsc does ask from you know the traditions which are nominated like they say upsc in 2015 or 16 they have already asked you know kalamkari paintings satriya dance right and then there are certain traditions which are already been nominated so there is a question from your end always again that what all puppetry or theater traditions do we do so whichever you find in this list whether inscribed or nominated try to do them theek hai obviously you cannot prepare all the theater forms in india all the puppetry traditions in india but then there are certain things which are mentioned in the list is what you will focus upon right then comes your world heritage sites in india jaise maine bola this is the most tricky portion because question kuch bhi hota hai right there are two aspects and two ways to cover this so when it comes to world heritage sites so one is obviously those which have been inscribed or representative which have already been given the status right to unka geography history a bit of architecture you know any historical personality which is associated with that monument or building right the cultural aspects of those sites or any geographical aspect or any environmental aspect any tribe which is associated with that world heritage site is what you will be doing right ab itni sari sites obviously as i told you either you prepare them in one day or two day and that is about it but banane kaise hai notes within this framework right next comes the current affairs aspect or either you do those sites which are frequently used by upsc in its papers as 
options jaise just to give you an example ajanta or alora upsc is frequently using as one of the options or answers in the question so either you prepare all those things uh, without preparing all the sites theek hai dusra aspect jaise main bol rahi hu is related to newspaper anything which is coming in news and it is a world heritage site or nominated to be a world heritage site also needs to be done from this perspective next aspect of world heritage site is your general awareness kbc wala your observations which are very personal to you personal matlab nothing personal in world heritage site but your out of your curious mind and observation you are finding out and digging out information right jaise ki there are how many states which does not have any world heritage site is there any state or ut which does not have find out state which has maximum world heritage sites state which or ut which has least or no world heritage site is what upsc can give you statements so this area needs to be prepared from all these dimensions aa gaya samajh mein so let's come to the first part of our discussion that is your culture portion and within culture there are definitely predictable themes on which upsc is asking questions so let's start with those so before jumping into the question let me give you a framework within which you have to prepare your buddhism and jainism because that is what you are here for i am assuming uh to know how to prepare along with the previous year papers questions so when it comes to buddhism and jainism so one is the philosophical part ki what exactly is buddhism and jainism different kinds of ideas means of salvation or features or philosophy which are inherent in buddhism and jainism theek hai jaise just to give you an example so buddhism starts with worshiping of buddha in relics form uske symbols that is the starting of hinayan form of buddhism the moment you start worshiping buddha in idol form human form it is mahayan buddhism the next level of buddhism or philosophy do, which we see is the mantra worship or reciting mantras or tantras in buddhism and that is your vajrayan buddhism so hai kya ye teeno is what the core philosophy you need to know and what are the different forms of salvation just to again give you an example ki hinayan mein salvation is individual you are the one who is going to attain it right by following certain rules or principles mahayan buddhism mein there is someone to help you and guide you they are your bodhisattvas isliye upsc ask questions on different kinds of bodhisattvas there is a you know reason why upsc is asking certain things and as i told you yesterday you once you understand the basic nuances and the essence of it it makes your life and story simple right so that is how you need to understand all these things uske baad aate hain different sects found in buddhism and jainism ab aap mere se puchoge there are there are so many sects how are we supposed to do this and how are we going to remember this very valid question i agree the sects which are prominently associated with buddhism and jainism and you get to know them through various buddhist and jain councils which happened in ancient time period right ek to ye tarika hai dusra the kind of question which upsc has asked the sects which upsc 
has asked are also derived from your newspaper or current affairs reading theek hai next aspect is literature or texts written in buddhism and jainism again there are so many texts or literature the most prominent ones which you find in your class notes or any magazine right or anything which has which has to do with current affairs is what you will focus yahan par maine likha buddhist and jain councils they are important for understanding the different divisions which happened in buddhism and jainism तो ये यू ने बहुत सालों से पूछा नहीं है यू पी हैज़ नॉट आस्ट अबाउट दिस विच दे यूज टू इन टाइम्स ऑफ माइन बट यू नेवर नो दे विल एनी टाइम रिपीट दिस थीम बिकॉज ये बहुत बेसिक एंड बहुत फंडामेंटल थीम है फ्रॉम योर यू अंडरस्टैंड द डिविजन्स इन बुद्धिज्म एंड जर्नलिज्म राइट फिर आ जाते हैं रेस्ट ऑफ योर कल्चरल एस्पेक्ट्स जैसे पेंटिंग्स राइट अगेन एनी थिंग विच इज मेकिंग दैट टॉपिक कम इन करंट अफेयर्स और न्यूज पेपर इज वॉट यू विल प्रिपेयर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस यू पी एस सी ऑल्सो फोकस ऑन और मे फोकस ऑन बुद्धिस्ट एंड जैन साइट्स और प्लेसेज ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस एंड इम्पोर्टेंस in buddhism and jainism this area is also very important so these are the things which are important not only from the last 7 years but 20 years theek hai so these are the things which you have to do within this topic and this topic is very important as i told you there are almost one to two questions every year without failing right so let's start with the questions so 11 questions matlab one to two questions every year in the last 7 years this book is very important for buddhism and jainism and there is another book which upsc is using uh for this topic and that is a book which is written by upinder singh she is the daughter of renowned ex prime minister manmohan singh right so these two books are very important and even the philosophical aspect jaise samkhya yoga right all these philosophical aspects they are not so comprehensively given in your ncert so the things which you uh, are not finding in your ncert you can rely in this book or with this book or your class notes or whatever notes you are referring to theek hai so let's come to the question and mind you whichever source i am telling you are the sources which upsc use word to word line by line page to page to make that question right so first question is pertaining to sects and philosophy within buddhism and jainism so this question came in 2017 with reference to the religious history of india consider the following statements first sautrantika and samitya were the sects of jainism second sarvastivadin held that the constituents of phenomena were not wholly momentary but existed in the later form so this aspect of statement is checking whether you know who are sarvastivadins and what is their main philosophy the first statement is checking whether you know that these sects pertain to buddhism or jainism to jab hum framework samajhte hain before addressing the questions everything binds together and we understand how to prepare right so why upsc will always ask in this format there is a reason wo ye janna chahte hain that are you aware of the prominent sects within buddhism and jainism or not so sautrantika and samitya were the sects of buddhism not jainism so first is wrong the statement is correct 
that Sarvastivadins held that the constituents of phenomena were not wholly momentary, but also exist in the latent form. Uh, next question aata hai, if I were a student, ki is mein kuch samaj mein nahi aata. Obviously, <laughs> philosophy hai, it's not everyone's cup of tea. So are you, do you have to force yourself to understand it? See, I will be again very practical. No. You cannot force yourself to understand everything. So if it comes, it's okay. If it doesn't let it go. Basic things you know, what's happening, do it. Right? If you'll run after everything, you will not be able to do the basic things for every subject. Right? So don't take it on your heart and mind, that I will do it forever. It doesn't happen. Take it very lightly and it's okay. If you can, you know, just rote learn it, fine. If you are still not able to rote learn and understand, leave it. ये पता होना चाहिए कि हाँ सर्वस्तिवादन समत्या स्वतंत्र का कुछ होते हैं सेट्स। Got it? Right? Now ये आया कहाँ से? The book which I am talking about, Your Al Basham's Wonder That Was India, लाइन से ये ही चीजें दी हुई हैं। सर्वस्तिवादन सेक्ट ऑफ लेसर वाइकल, लेसर वाइकल मतलब हीनियन ब्रांच, right? सर्वस्तिवादन Holy momentary phenomena existed forever in latent form, Sautrantika Samitya. So, paper setter ne kya padha hooga? Ki chalo, yehi pooch lete hai, these two sects belong to Buddhism or Jainism. Or yeh line aise ke aise, verbatimly he or she picked up. Right? So, that's why there are certain books or content which I would recommend in Buddhism and Jainism and one is this. Right? Let's come to 2019 question again from the basic understanding of philosophy and sect. Consider the following statements. Deification of the Buddha, trading the path of bodhisattvas, image worship and rituals, which of the above are the feature or features of Mahayan Buddhism? Easy question, eh? static, very simple, fundamental, core philosophy of Mahayan. If you understand, you will be able to do it. But then there is again certain elements which I would like to draw your attention to and that is what if you don't understand what is deification? It can also be done, right? You can read it in Hindi. No, I'm very serious on that. Right? Because these are again those practical things which will help you out. Like deification comes from the word deity or deity. That means worshipping a god in the human form. We know how Vishnu looks like, how Krishna looks like, right? So we have certain kinds of images uh, which we can, you know, associate with. So yes, Mahayan Buddhism kya hai? When you worship Buddha in human form. So deification to ho hi, right? Trading the path of bodhisattvas. Jaise maine bula salvation. The concept of salvation in Hinyat is individual effort through which one gets it. In Mahayan, there are certain bodhisattvas who helps you to attain that salvation. They are on the verge of getting salvation, but they are not achieving it to help others or society to attain it. Right? Image worship and rituals, again, ye bhi hoga Mahayan Buddhism mein. So answer is 1, 2, and 3. So, jaise maine bola, there are NCRT 6 to 8, 6th and 7th, our ancient medieval 8th is modern. You start with your 6th, 7th, 8th standard NCRT for history to have that base. So, wo jo deification ya kuch aisi cheeze hoti hai na, uh, the basic idea of what is Mahayana and Hinyan, you can get it in your 6th standard textbook as well. Theek hai? So, this question according to me, whether you read 6th or not, is very easy if you are doing your Buddhism. Another question in 2020, ab dekho, 2019 mein they asked you deification of Buddha, right? Yaha par fir se aagya ye word. And again, the question is on Mahayan Buddhism. Whether you know things about it or not. Stavira Vadins belong to Mahayan Buddhism. 2017 mein I showed you question. Sautrantika Samitya, jaha se wo bana tha, in that textbook, it was written Sthavira Vadins form part of lesser vehicle. Lesser vehicle is your Hinyan. 
तो अगर वो पढ़ा होता बेस्ड ऑन यू पी एस सी क्वेश्चन यू वुड हैव बीन एबल टू सॉल्व दिस कि वन इज़ रॉन्ग जैसे आप वन को एलिमिनेट करते हो यू आर विथ टू ऑप्शन टू एंड थ्री एंड थ्री ओनली ठीक है तो इसका मतलब आपको थ्री पता होना चाहिए या थ्री नहीं पता भी नहीं होगा तो भी यू हैव टू नो सेकेंड वन अब सेकेंड वन इज डिफिकल्ट लोकोत्तर वादन सेक्ट वॉज एन ऑफ शूट ऑफ महासंगिका सेक्ट ऑफ बुद्धिज्म जैसे मैंने बोला बुद्धिस्ट काउंसिल्स सो इफ थिंग्स आर क्लियर दैट विच ऑल सेक्ट्स एंड द डिविजन विच यू नो केम आफ्टर योर सेकेंड बुद्धिस्ट काउंसिल और थर्ड बुद्धिस्ट काउंसिल दिस पीस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन यू कैन गेट वेरी वेल फ्राम द सोर्स विच यू आर रीडिंग दैट कॉन्टेंट फ्राम जहाँ से भी आप बुद्धिस्ट काउंसिल पढ़ोगे you will be having this information because this is an important aspect of your second buddhist council the folds or the divisions which happened within buddhism theek okay? hai so there is a purpose and there is a meaning why i am saying sect and philosophy and buddhist council buddhist councils they are not asking you directly but indirectly you need to read them to answer certain elements which they are asking in the paper right then comes your 2018 question on different bodhi sattvas bodhi sattvas mahayan buddhism bahut popular hai in the last 7 years and otherwise also with reference to indian history who among the following is a future buddha yet to come to save the world so the answer is maitreya it is a factual question but as i am saying that there is this book al basham wonder that was india it gives you a list of all these names which are given in your options also jaise avloki teshwar padmapani lokeshwar maitreya these are the words which are mentioned here also to so, inka meaning kya hai who are they what is their purpose what do they do right is what you need to know ab isi page mein ek word aa jata hai paramitas parameters are basically perfections which one attains is pe bhi upsc asked a question which i will be showing you term related questions bhi hote hai upsc asks in buddhism and jainism and in ancient and medieval culture terminology based questions are again one aspect which upsc gives you so this page as i am telling you is very important theek hai jaise maine bola <coughs> ki ajanta Elora, these are common asked caves or paintings by UPSC, which is given in the option. So the question is, painting of Bodhi Sattva Padma Pani is one of the most famous and oft illustrated paintings. At, they go. Is me there is a bit of uh, tricky element. Tricky element. Is le bol rahi hu because if you Google and if you read your NCERT, that is Class 11th Introduction to Indian Art Part One. you will also find the painting of padmapani at elora as well theek hai but question hai question mein ajanta aur elora dono diya hua hai and this book which is your introduction to indian art part 1 ncert class 11th has a dedicated picture or image of padmapani bodhisattva and ajanta to jaise maine bola upsc galti kar sakta hai and upsc has done a bit of wrong thing with you right but no one can question right to aapko yahi samajhna hai if upsc has given the answer that padmapani is an often illustrated painting ye ho sakta hai that the interpretation might be of upsc that what is the dominant theme of ajanta cave paintings so padmapani painting can be found in elora as well but often illustrated theme could be found in ajanta and hence we arrive at the answer right are you all understanding what i'm trying to say so when you google you can find padma pani and elora as well to ye mat puchna ki bhai upsc ne to ajanta aur elora ek saath de diya so if they come together another in another question related to padma pani again you have to focus more on ajanta than elora right then comes questions on buddhist terminology these are things which are highly factual highly factual and it all depends how much you can retain 
but preparing these terms uh should be you know uh, given one attempt at least you should have some collection of facts or terms related to buddhism and jainism at one place because you know when time will come for you to appear for upsc prelims paper 2024 to na ek do din pehle na your mind gets so exhausted that you don't even understand what to revise what to pick because the syllabus is so vast तो जब आपको ये नहीं समझ में आता है ना मैं क्या पढूं? बिकॉज एवरीथिंग विल बी जीरो एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम देन द टाइम कम्स फॉर यू टू रिवाइज दो थिंग्स विच बी अ मैटर ऑफ लक फॉर यू दीज आर लक बेस्ड यू कैन नॉट यू टू डिटेन एवरीथिंग हो सकता है आप कर लो एक दो दिन पहले एंड लक माइट बी इन योर फेवर एंड वन और टू क्वेश्चन यू माइट गेट करेक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द लास्ट डे रिविजन और लास्ट मिनट रिविजन so these are things for those days one or two days before but this collection of facts as i am telling you has to be with you they have to be with you somewhere theek hai so parivrajak renunciant and wanderer correct shraman is not a priest with high status upasakas are lay followers of buddhism these terms or the source of this question again is a blend of your al bashams wonder that was india as well as your ncrt introduction to indian art part 1 so why i am again and again emphasizing this to just keep you on track so is book mein ye term tha parivrajak ye upsc ne pooch liya right similarly you have upasakas again this book is another book which upsc is frequently using in their papers it's not only restricting to buddhism and jainism but sangam literature as well sangam literature pe there have been two questions uh, in the last 3 years and in mains also sangam literature is asked right so upsc has asked questions from this book from the topic sangam literature to ab ye aapke upar hai upinder singh wali book karni hai selective reading is what i am recommending for both the books right the output and input ratio is what you have to calculate how much you give and how much return it gives you back is your call ha na because it all depends on you ki aap kis tarike se kar rahe ho and how much it is paying you back that i agree that in culture or amc as a whole is a bit dicey upsc may give you questions which you have Then you may say, "May ask you even beyond that." But this section requires from your end at least one day ka mehnat or two days ka mehnat, where you compiled all the possible questions and themes and facts without using brain. Without using brain, matlab without first trying to understand them. Just framework me, I have said, na. Usi framework me notes banalo. That is what I am trying to suggest you, right? श्रमन पूछा था एन सी आर टी सो आई वॉज कॉमेंटिंग येस्टरडे ऑन हाउ टू रीड है ना सो देर इज दिस लाइन गिविन फ्रॉम दिस बुक सिक्स सेंचुरी बी सी मार्क्स द बिगनिंग ऑफ न्यू रिलीजियस एंड सोशल मूवमेंट्स इन द गैंजेटिक वैली इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बुद्धिज्म एंड जैनिज्म विच वर पार्ट ऑफ द श्रमन ट्रेडिशन अब आप लोग क्या करते हो दिस इज अ क्लासिक एग्जाम्पल यू जस्ट रीड इट एंड गो अहेड Yes or no? How many do you do? Raise your hands. I know many of you do it. <laughs> so, ye nahi karna hai. Things which you don't know and it's not explained here. Google karo na. Kitna accessible hai? Smartphones apke paas hai. Notepad hai. Laptop hai. Use them. Or vaise bhi, if even if you don't have that, you have CSAT ka paper comprehension. even if you are not googling try to infer the meaning so it's saying buddhism and jainism were part of shraman tradition upsc ne kya diya priest with a high status shraman tradition brahmanical ideologies ko to nahi profess kar raha hoga ha na so that's how upsc asks you this section or the facts or the statements from scattered sources इसीलिए सेक्शन इज डिफिकल्ट सो यू हैव 
So UPSC has used AL Basham in this, Upinder Singh in this, and your NCRT also. Right? Then comes your another question, Paramitas, as I was saying. So they've used that this term and picked up from the same page. See, if, if we are doing the post analysis of the things which UPSC has done, one thing is for sure that the paper setter is using or making pool of questions from his end. Which I 18 may I, 19 may I, 20 may I, 21 may I, we know we don't know. They have a pool of questions. And there are certain for sure sources which are used by UPSC for a section. Right? So wo us sal nahi pucha to 2020 me. Paramitas pooch liya. Right? So Paramitas are the perfections or uh, bodhisattvas whose attainment or perfection led to bodhisattva path. So these are the milestones or the perfect beings which are denoted by the term Paramitas. Right? Jaysay mainne bola yehi page tha. Isi mein aapke bodhisattvas, maitriya, lokiteshwar, all these bodhisattvas are asked and the term was written Paramitas. Why I'm showing you the screenshot of the book as well. That is how you have to make the notes. Right? Then comes your difficult question. But again, I feel that if someone has gone through Buddhism and Jainism, they will be able to do it because of the options given. Right? I'm not expecting you to know all these texts. But what I'm expecting and what UPSC might be expecting from your end also, with the way UPSC has framed the options, is whether you can read between the lines and apply your brain. Okay? So the question is, which of the following texts are Jain texts? Okay? Now, I have put this text in this text because the answer to this question is there in the Buddhist text. If someone is preparing Buddhism, they know that there are a kind of text or literature in Buddhism by the name of Avadanas. Okay? And here it is Avadan Shatak. As I said, there are certain smart ways in which UPSC wants to assess you and want to take you. If someone is linking Buddhist to this, just see the options. Three is not in it, the rest is there. Three is there. Doesn't it give you a message that UPSC does not want you to be Rattu Tota or fact collector? They want you to be district collector. And you will become district collector from the fact collector only when you do things in a smarter way. PhD nahi karwa rahe hain wo aap se Buddhism, Jainism pe. Isile I told you that you have to put your brain aside while making notes first. Then once you have compiled, you try wherever possible, apply that brain to the maximum level. Uske baad bhi nahi samaj mein aara hai, philosophy, philosophy part. I am not talking about the facts. Leave. And jitna ho raha hai, that is about it. Right? <coughs> so, but, but having said that, whatever things have been asked by UPSC, uh, you have to prepare them uh, from the options given. Jaysay, it's not that you have to it just because you've solved the question. You have to know what is Neti Pakaran, this book, this book, and one or two facts about it. That is it. Because I have said that there is a recurrent or repeated pattern also displayed by UPSC in the papers. So you cannot lose out on the facts which already UPSC have asked. Okay? Again, as I told you, this Upinder Singh is being frequently used. So, Buddhist text or Jain text, you have to make a different note. You don't have to go too deep in the texts or unka subject matter. You just need to know that Buddhist Jain is, what is the main theme that is about it. Hana? Then comes your question on sect based on current affairs. So, there was this question in 2018. With reference to the religious practices in India, the Sthanakwasi sect belongs to. So the answer is Jainism. Ab, as I told you, there are so many sects 
of Buddhism, Jainism. I am not expecting or neither UPSC expects you to know about them. But things which are coming in the newspaper. Now, this is the biggest question. The newspaper from which this question has been framed is not what you frequently read. Like you all must be either reading Indian Express or Hindu. But newspapers are not written for the UPSC aspirant. And even UPSC expects you to be aware whether you read Hindu, TOI, PIB, Twitter, ya X, ya kuch bhi, ya Insta, ya Newsfeed, whatever. You need to be aware. So there was this in the previous year, 17, a mantra job by Jens, 36 lakh times for world peace. This Navkar mantra or Amokara mantra is the first mantra which they recite. A specific sect of Jens recite. And they belong to Stanakwasi. Right? So I am again repeating myself that there are certain news which you may not find in Indian Express or Hindu. But you are expected to be aware of many dimensions or things which are beyond so-called UPSC. Are you, am I coming across to you what I want to say? So these are those questions which, which gives you extra reward and which comes to only those who are actually understanding and are keeping tap of things in various fields. So, kya par sakte ho ki who are stanakwasis? No, na. Again, Maya Devi wala dream aapko nahi aayega. Ki there will be a prince born to me. Right? So, these enlightenment will not come to you. You have to create it. Right? How many of you have started reading about Buddhism and Jainism and culture? Nahi? 2023 may the most easiest question the last seven years has been asked on Jainism. Very simple question. Hai. Souls are not only the property of animal and plant life, but also of rocks, running water and many other natural objects not looked on as living by other religious sect. Koi bhi ye padega, usko pata hai that it is Jainism or Jains who Consider soul in the smallest of particle. Why some gens cover their mouth? Because they don't want to hurt or be the destroyer of even the bacteria and viruses. Right? So if someone understands this, they will be marking Jainism. And this was the most easiest question of the last seven years from this section. Okay? So you may get easy questions. There's a nahi hai that UPSC is very ruthless and very brutal. There's a nahi hai. It gives you opportunity. Jahan par they eliminated the scope for elimination. They gave you questions like these also. So that <laughs> you don't lose out on marks. Then comes 2022 ka question. Uh, again, uh, this is a factual question. But all these names which are written, they are very important scholars of different faith or divisions. They say, Aryadev. The Nath Muni, Nath Muni, everyone knows that belongs to Vaishnavite, right? The Ignag and Aryadev. So again, this question has been picked up from Upinder Singh. They go, Yahapar, Eksad, they have given the names. Mahayan thinkers, Nagarjun, Vasubandhu, Asang, Aryadev. So Aryadev is a Buddhist scholar. The Ignag is also a Buddhist scholar, right? And in 2023, there was a question on Nagarjun also, which we will discuss. But what does it mean that there are certain books which are frequently used by UPSC. Right? So both Aryadev and Dignag are Buddhist scholars. Right? So Aryadev is not a Jain scholar. He was a Buddhist scholar. So Dignag and Nath Muni are the correct answers. Answer is C. Right? Then comes questions on uh, 
so with this we are done with buddhism and jainism theek hai so kya kya poochte hai they they ask you about philosophy they ask you about sect they ask you about the cultural aspects like paintings literature and there are certain elements which they pick from your newspaper yahi karna hai right then we come to another major section in culture and that is architecture which includes your famous temples monuments etc so there have been six questions that means again in a year on an average one question to is theme se aata hai right so uh, there are six questions that means almost every year there is a question let's see the questions which upsc asks us from this section तो एक तो है व्हाट वी फील कि हाँ नागरा स्टाइल द्रविडा वैसरा यूपीएससी वैसे पूछता है दिद दे हैव आ सच क्वेश्चन दैट व्हाट इज नागरा स्टाइल व्हाट इज वैसरा व्हाट इज पंचायतन इन द टेंपल आर्किटेक्चर बट इन द लास्ट सेवन इयर्स दे हैव आस्ट द मॉन्यूमेंट्स और द टेंपल्स दम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्वेश्चन ठीक है तो टू में दे आस्ट द क्वेश्चन which of the following are famous for sun temples ab dekho whenever you get such questions there is a very logical thought which comes to your mind that now to ab we have to remember every sun temple aise nahi sochna you don't have to think like that you have to now after seeing a question you have to prepare the list for all the sun temples in india no how and why because the purpose behind upsc asking a question and the elements which they want to test you in deciphers or should give a meaning to you that this is why upsc must have asked jaise just to give you an example through this question what i mean is so question is on sun temples we have to also look at the option and the facts which upsc has asked om gareshwar word hi mein hi om hai so it cannot be the sun temple to dekho three kahan kahan hai in all the options if upsc wanted you to prepare and know sun temples of india factually they would have not given you the scope for elimination at all aap samajh rahe ho yes so first of all upsc intends to check on the practical aspects whether you have it or not theek hai but that was 7 years back now upsc will not ask you or give you such questions they might be but they will not be so huge in number so you have to take step according to the age or generation you are in jaise i am to 20 years back wali you are going through the analysis of last 7 to 10 years ha na to jab main thi to main bhi 20 years ke karti thi so i know 40 years ke papers obviously na if you are preparing for this year you will be going through the papers of last 10 years 15 years at least and you must have come across toppers ki 20 years ke kar lo to be on a very safer side what to do what not to do right so that is how things are and have been passed to ye iska intention hai and the temples or monuments which you will be preparing would come either from your current affairs or world heritage site as i told you theek hai to one only is the answer answer is very simple and they are just checking amarkantak is also a place which is related to lord shiva right so both these places has nothing to do with sun temple but arsavalli and the places which have been asked by upsc is what you have to google ki why upsc has asked this theek hai then comes your 2018 may question which is directly from your newspaper not current affairs but newspaper so you do get certain cultural articles in hindu indian express which has nothing to do with current affairs right so upsc paper setters do get inspiration from the articles written in the hindu or indian express please ye mat puchna ki if a question has been asked by upsc from the hindu are we supposed to read the hindu no अगर आपने पढ़ा भी होता ना ये आर्टिकल देन ऑल्सो यू नॉट हैव बीन एबल टू मार्क इट करेक्टली रिटेंशन प्रॉब्लम ना यू आर नॉट यू आर गजनी शॉर्ट टर्म मेमोरी राइट सो यू आर नॉट अ सुपर कंप्यूटर यू आर अ ह्यूमन सो देर इज अ लिमिटेशन ऑफ एवरीथिंग राइट 
सो द क्वेश्चन वॉज बट आपको क्या करना है दैट द एलिमेंट्स विच दे आर आस्किंग हाउ टू पिक दो थिंग्स आप एंड प्रिपेयर द मोन्यूमेंट्स एंड टेम्पल्स विद वाइट मार्बल वॉज यूज इन मेकिंग बुलंद दरवाजा एंड खांका एट फतेहपुर सीकरी अब देखो लेट मी फर्स्ट शो यू द आर्टिकल बिकॉज द एग्जैक्ट लाइन्स आर पिकड अप एंड देन आई विल डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन सो देर इज मैंशन ऑफ बुलंद दरवाजा खांका एट फतेहपुर सीकरी एंड रेड सैंड स्टोन एंड मार्बल बींग यूज एट बड़ा इमाम बारा एंड रूमी दरवाजा एंड बाय द नेम्स ऑफ इट ऑब्वियसली यू हैव नेवर एंड यू विल नेवर प्रिपेयर इन सो डिटेल ऑल द मोन्यूमेंट्स विदाउट हैविंग एनी इंस्परेशन और कॉलिंग है ना तो देर वॉज दिस इन ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन दिस आर्टिकल सॉरी हाँ ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन दिस आर्टिकल विच टॉक्स अबाउट बुलंद दरवाजा एट फतेहपुर सीकरी देन इट हैज रेड सैंड स्टोन स्टोन कार्विंग्स रिलीव बाय इंसर्टिंग वाइट मार्बल आई एम अगेन रिपीटिंग द आर्टिकल कैरीज द फैक्ट दैट इट हैज यूज रेड सैंड स्टोन स्टोन कार्विंग्स एंड इंसर्टेड वाइट मार्बल इन द रिलीव फिर आते हैं हम बड़ा इमाम बारा इंस्टेड ऑफ स्टोन्स एंड मार्बल ब्रिक एंड लाइन वर यूज ठीक है तो वेन एवर यू गेट द आर्टिकल्स वेदर इन हिंदू और इंडियन एक्सप्रेस नोट दैम एंड ट्राई टू रिवाइज दैम एज फ्रीक्वेंटली एज पॉसिबल बट आंसर यू पी एस ने कुछ और ही दिया है बेस्ड ऑन वॉट एवर इंटरप्रिटेशन दे हैव so first statement says white marble was used in making buland darwaza and khanka at fatehpur sikri what do you understand by this ye mai why i am reading between the lines and i am giving you information because these are the things which you be have to be very mindful about theek hai to article mein kya diya hua hai that white marble was used in the relief yes or no और स्टेटमेंट में क्या है वाइट मार्बल वाज यूज्ड इन मेकिंग बुलंद दरवाजा एंड खांका एट फतेहपुर सीकरी सो जो रिलीफ एट खांका थे दैट यूज्ड योर वाइट मार्बल बाय इंसर्टिंग नाउ व्हाट डू यू इंटरप्रेट फ्रॉम दिस स्टेटमेंट इज इट राइट और रॉन्ग विल इट बी राइट और रॉन्ग है ना लॉजिकली ए और बी एलिमेंट्स हैं वॉज ए यूज इन बी येस टू वॉट एक्सटेंट और डिग्री is not clear from the statement which upsc has used are you understanding what i'm trying to say again here a was used in b so marble was used in khanka but upsc has given this statement as wrong in their official answer ki iska matlab upsc ye janna cha raha tha what was white marble a prominent material used in buland darwaza and khanka bits and pieces were used my dharm is to only show you to make you aware yes to maine aapko dikha diya ki whenever upsc asks you certain things you have to see it in a very larger picture so it all boils down to one thing whether upsc will give this statement as wrong or right depends on upsc but if you ask me and you yourself are judge the statement is correct ha na second statement red sandstone and marble were used in making bada imam bara nahi stone lime ye sab used the uh, so second is wrong definitely so answer is neither one nor two according to upsc right but source of the article is this newspaper hindu wala theek hai then comes another question easy one found in your ncert introduction to indian art nahi no sorry themes in indian history part 2 medieval india wali new ncert so there are three new ncerts themes in indian history part 1 themes in indian history part 2 which pertains to medieval the first part pertains to ancient and the third part pertains to modern so this question kalyan mandap was a notable feature in the temple construction in the kingdom of vijayanagar has been given in a picture
तो वेन एवर यू फाइंड बॉक्सेज आई एम अगेन रिपीटिंग दिस इज अ पैटर्न यूज बाई यू पी एस सी इन एंशियंट बिलीवर एंड कल्चर द बॉक्सेज द इमेजेस आर फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज टू फ्रेम क्वेश्चन राइट तो कल्याण मंडप वॉज मैं टू सेलिब्रेट डिवाइन वेडिंग्स कई बार यू पी एस सी कैन आस्क यू द मीनिंग ऑफ द टर्म ऑल्सो बाई रिपीटिंग द सेम वर्ड अगैन राइट सो दिस इज अ नोटेबल फीचर इन दी विजयनगर टेम्पल आर्किटेक्चर इन एवरी टेम्पल आर्किटेक्चर यू डू देर आर सर्टन प्रोमिनेंट फीचर्स कल्याण मंडप्स आर अ प्रोमिनेंट फीचर इन दी विजयनगर टेम्पल्स फाउंड राइट देन कम्स योर क्वेश्चन लाइक दीज विच लुक स्टैटिक फंडामेंटल विच दे आर बट सोर्स कैन बी इन्फर्ड एज टू इंस्पायर द पेपर सेटर द करंट अफेयर्स क्योंकि देखो अगैन दिस इज पोस्ट टेस्ट एनालिसिस विच आई एम डूइंग राइट तो ऐसा नहीं है दट क्वेश्चन विच यू पी एस सी हेजास्ट इज इरेलीवेंट ऑब्वियसली द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्तूप स्तूप क्या होता है डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ स्तूप इज अ वेरी स्टार्टिंग एंड फंडामेंटल थिंग टू बी आस्ट इन बुद्धिज्म और बुद्धिस्ट आर्किटेक्चर राइट बट देर वॉज अ न्यूज बिफोर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एग्जामिनेशन इन द सेम ईयर सो दिस इज अ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री जनवरी में देर वॉज दिस न्यूज इन एवरी न्यूज पेपर दैट आर्क्योलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया डिस्कवर ट्वेल्व ईयर ओल्ड ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड ईयर ओल्ड मिनिएचर स्तूप एट नालंदा सो दीज मिनिएचर स्तूप दैट वर फाउंड वर वोटिव स्तूपर्स आई एम अगैन रिपीटिंग दे वर वोटिव स्तूपर्स तो वेन यू रीड द न्यूज लाइक दिस डोंट लीव इट टू गॉड कि हाँ आपको वोटिव स्तूपा समझ में आ गया जैसे श्रमन दिखाया था डोंट लीव इट एंड फील कि हाँ आई नो समथिंग इफ यू डोंट नो जस्ट गूगल इट ठीक है तो वोटिव स्तूपाज वर फाउंड और 2023 में देर वॉज दिस वर्ड ऑल्सो यूज सो डोंट यू थिंक पेपर सेटर ने सोचा होगा चलो स्तूप ही पूछ लेते हैं उसका हिस्ट्री पूछ लेते हैं राइट right? and the whole question i feel can be easily answered by your general and very fundamental understanding of stoop as well as it includes your small standard ncert theek hai the first statement puch raha hai the concept of stoop is buddhist in origin ye hai trap the way upsc gives you statement buddhist origin dekhte hi na sab mark kar dete hain ha buddhist origin to hai बट आपने पढ़ा नहीं है उसको अच्छे से द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्तूप इज बुद्धिस्ट इन ओरिजिन मतलब दैट बुद्धिज्म में फर्स्ट टाइम वी कम अक्रॉस अ स्ट्रक्चर कॉल्ड स्तूप व्हिच इज नॉट करेक्ट इसीलिए रीडिंग केयरफुली फॉर प्रिलिम्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अवॉइड सिली मिस्टेक्स इन सच क्वेश्चन एंड फिर आप रोगे कि यार ये तो इतना इजी क्वेश्चन था एंड आई मार्क डिट रॉन्ग सो रीडिंग वेरी केयरफुली इज अनदर थिंग विच यू हैव टू मेंटेन वाइल डूइंग क्वेश्चंस आपको समझ में आ गया मीनिंग इज डिफरेंट होता क्या है ना व्हेन यू रीड क्वेश्चंस पे क्वेश्चंस बुद्धिस्ट देखते ही मार्क हो जाता है आई नो होता है ऐसे इट हैपन्स बट यू हैव टू बी वेरी माइंडफुल सो फर्स्ट इज रॉन्ग स्तूप वॉज जनरली जनरली अ रिपोजिटरी ऑफ रेलिक्स रेलिक्स मतलब रिमेन्स तो स्तूप का सबसे पहला फंक्शन ही यही था वॉट इज स्तूप इट इज अमीस्फेरिकल माउंड हीप ऑफ समथिंग हीप मतलब समझते हो आप ढेर हाँ इन हिंदी सो ढेर ऑफ समथिंग थर्ड स्टेटमेंट से स्तूप वॉज अ वोटिव एंड कमेमोरेटिव स्ट्रक्चर इन बुद्धिस्ट ट्रेडिशन मैंने क्या बोला था अगर कुछ ना समझ में आए तो हिंदी पढ़ लो कमेमोरेटिव वर्ड इज फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज एंड यू माइट बी डूइंग वॉट इज कमेमोरेशन किसी की याद में किसी को डेडिकेट कर देना राइट सो ये स्तूप वॉज अ वोटिव एंड कमेमोरेटिव स्ट्रक्चर ये नहीं लिखा है स्तूप वॉज ओनली अ वोटिव एंड कमेमोरेटिव स्ट्रक्चर सो थर्ड इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट टू एंड थ्री आर करेक्ट सो ओनली टू इज वॉट द आंसर इज है ना तो आपके थीम्स इन इंडियन हिस्ट्री पार्ट वन में देर इज अ लाइन गिवन देर वर अदर प्लेसेस टू दैट वर रिगार्डेड एज सेक्रेड 
this was because relics of Buddha, such as his bodily remains or objects used by him, were buried there. These were mounds known as stoop. Uske baad ek line likhi hai. The tradition of erecting stoop may have been So when we say or when toppers say, read your NCRTs, you read them, but problem to reading me, eh, na? So some clear by reading NCRT, some don't. The answer is how you read. So it's given, na? Or question is pe based hai. Ya to you will do a silly mistake by just reading very hurriedly Buddhist in origin and mark it correct. Or you may not be knowing this. Not be knowing this is a problem in you. Because it's given in your NCRT. Right? Chalo aage badte hai. Votem means uh, when someone has taken a vow you know, ek, ek kasam li ho. Again, it has an inherent meaning of to commemorate something, to dedicate something. Ki main kasam khata hu that, you know, something will happen here. So, wow, it, it has its origin from wow, taking a wow. Right? Then comes your question on temple again, which has its genesis from purely current affairs. Purely current affairs. Okay? Your newspaper reading, it has nothing to do with you preparing all the temples of India. Okay? So, 2021, you get a question. Chaucet Yogini Temple situated near Morena, consider the following statements. So, Chaucet Yogini Temple was in news because of the new parliament building, which we got inspired from using this temple, or the old parliament building rather, the circular one, was inspired from the Chaucet Yogini Temple. So, Newspapers were carrying articles two days after, three days after, continuously on this temple and other facts related to parliament pertaining to polity or culturally. Right? So, whenever you get recurrent articles on a topic, that samaj lo wo topic important hai. And you have to prepare that topic from all the perspectives. All the perspectives, matlab, jaise jaise maine bola ki agar parliament pe article hai, so that means politically or from political science point of view or polity point of view, parliament should be very clear to you. Its historical legacy or the background should be very clear to you. Its architecture should be very clear to you. Its cultural influence, which it has drawn from a temple which was used by UPSC, should be known to you. Okay. Now, again, let's understand the reason behind UPSC asking this question. One reason is definitely hai. it has come from the news that it inspired our old parliament building, right? So, it is a circular temple built during the reign of Kachapagat dynasty. Now, you have if you've not prepared for yourself by your own self, you will not be able to know it. Hana? Either newspaper article will be carrying it or not carrying it. Second, it is the only circular temple built in India. So UPSC expects that you should know certain architecture about temples in India. So aisa to hoi nahi sakta ki this is the only circular temple. So if you eliminate two again you arrive at the answer. So, aapko first pata ho, ya third pata ho, ya fourth pata ho is not the intention of UPSC. Whether you are able to eliminate, given the time of 2021 I am talking about, uh, this fact or not. Okay. So, you are in which generation where elimination is not existing? You never know it will come back. Hana? Magar, nothing is predictable. Right? So, 1 and 4 is the answer. It was meant to promote Vaishnav cult in the region. Chaucet Yogini. Yogini temples basically are representation of Shakti. So, it's not giving rise 
or promoting fashion of cult in the region fourth its design has given rise to the popular belief that it was inspiration behind the indian parliament building yes right to ye sab jab articles aate hain either use the same news in different newspapers aap samajhte ho same news and preparing it from different newspapers matlab you have to take help of google devta irrespective of newspaper you read after 6 months or let's say 3 months when the articles have stopped coming on that theme you google it and see what all information you get across the internet because again i'm repeating upsc is not saying that you read hindu or indian express it's saying that you need to prepare and aware about the news in general right and this needs to be done not for every news mind you which has certain historical or cultural importance which include certain facts which you are not able to find out in your standard textbooks right okay then comes your 2022 question is ka bhi inspiration current affairs or newspaper hai the prime minister recently inaugurated the new circuit house near somnath temple at veraval which of the following statements are correct regarding somnath temple this is also a very interesting question why because the facts which you upsc has asked uh, it's attaching the importance of how you need to look at things and when one says that you know prelims is all about objective facts it does not test you on issues which you prepare in the mains they are wrong why because of the statement 3 let's read the all statements and then i'll come to make you understand why i'm saying so first statement says somna temple is one of the jyotirling shrines yes it is one of the jyotirling shrines second a description of somna temple was given by alburuni so this was also mentioned in the news when this news was coming in 2022 now coming to third statement pran pratishtha of somna temple was done by president एस राधा कृष्णन अब आते हैं टू इवेलुएट एंड अंडरस्टैंड वाई यू पी एस सी मस्ट हैव गिवन यू थर्ड स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज यू नो वेन वेन समन इज जस्ट बिगिनिंग देर प्रिपरेशन दे आर लॉस्ट दे टेक थिंग्स एंड फैक्ट्स एज दे आर गिवन टू यू एंड यू प्रिपेयर देम लाइक वाइज बट एज आई सेड दैट प्रिलिम्स एंड मेन्स एंड फॉर यू पी एस सी including the preparation for interview goes hand in hand i mean so because the third statement is expecting you to know who has installed the foundation stone for somnath temple so there were articles coming in the newspapers even during the ayodhya temple that why the constitutional offices like prime minister or president or governor are laying down the foundation stone because india is a secular country so if the prime minister or president is laying down a stone for a temple it might give a message it's and by the way it's an opinion it's not me saying it. there are certain opinions which go around by certain actions done by the dignitaries and i'm just making you aware of that so ye news and issue was coming out right so you are not expected to know this and prepare for every temple there was the there was some reason behind this statement being asked to so agar mains ke issues if you think that i will prepare when mains will come and prelims is separate i just want to debunk that notion ऐसे नोशन मत रखो राइट सो इंटरव्यू में भी ये पूछा जा सकता है इशू मेन्स में तो पूछ ही सकते हैं एंड प्रिलिम्स में भी दे हैव आस्ट बट द तरीका और द वे इज डिफरेंट इन प्रिलिम्स राइट बट इट इज स्टेमिंग आउट ऑफ दैट इशू सो प्राण प्रतिष्ठा ऑफ सोना टेम्पल वॉज डन बाय द प्रेजिडेंट बट एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इट वॉज राजेंद्र प्रसाद नॉट एस राधा कृष्णन तो थर्ड इज रॉन्ग और इसी पे देखो उन्होंने टेस्ट किया है थर्ड स्टेटमेंट पे बिकॉज द इशू वॉज सो 
uh, prominent in the newspapers carrying the news of this temple aagi baat samajh mein okay देखो सोमनाथ टेम्पल डिबेट इज क्रूशल टू अंडरस्टैंड सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ राम मंदिर एंड ऑपोजिशन टू इट सो देर इज अ रीजन वाई अ न्यूज पेपर हैज टू बी डन इन अ सर्टन वे नॉट थिंकिंग दैट दिस इज प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस इज मीन एंड दिस इज इंटरव्यू राइट ओके देन कम्स योर लिटरेचर क्वेश्चन देर आर फाइव क्वेश्चन मोस्टली दिस सेक्शन इज फैक्चुअल वन either you know it or you don't know it but literature pe let me tell you certain things which you need to prepare jaise uh, so when we talk about ancient time period there are prominent dynasties and prominent scholars which you cannot miss jaise or you know scholars which are pioneers of their field pioneers matlab samajhte ho ha that they have started with some tradition for the first time so these are the aspects which you need to prepare same goes with medieval ki pioneer scholars or pioneer texts of very famous dynasties like mughal delhi sultanate or let's say your vijayanagar sangam sangam bahut zaruri hai <laughs> ancient time period it's very important so five questions have been asked let's see the questions with reference to the scholars of ancient india consider the following statements first Panini is associated with Pushya Mitra Shung. Chronology puchi hai unhone, mind you, uh, with all the three statements they have given. So chronology will remain an important aspect of testing by UPSC. So Panini, why he is so important? Kaun si book likhi thi Ashtadhyay? It is very important or seminal book for grammar. Yes or no? तो इसीलिए पूछा है वो जो मैं बोल रही हूँ ना पाइनियर्स वो ही आप प्रिपेयर कर सकते हो बट पूछा क्या है विच वॉज वेरी डिफरेंट कि टाइम पीरियड पता है कब लिखी थी सो इफ समन नोज अ ब्रॉड आइडिया ऑफ पानिनीज लिटरेचर और हिज वर्क और हिज टाइम पीरियड ही विल बी एबल टू एलिमिनेट पुष्य मित्र शुंग सो शुंगास केम आफ्टर मौर्य So Pushya Mitra Shung killed the last Mauryan ruler Brihadrath. Their time period was second century around, and uh, Panini, if I am not wrong, third century. So, इसलिए they tested you on Panini and his time period, and Shung is expected because it's mentioned in your NCERT and otherwise basic chronology. Amar Sima is associated with Harshvardhan. कालीदास इज एसोसिएटेड विद चंद्रगुप्त कालीदास अमर सिम्हा दे आर ऑल एसोसिएटेड विद गुप्ता तो उन्होंने पूछा अमर सिम्हा हर्षवर्धन गुप्ताज पहले हर्षवर्धन बाद में सो दैट्स हाउ यू पी एस सी आस्क यू क्वेश्चन राइट सो दिस इज वन वे ऑफ टेस्टिंग you in literature the pioneer scholars to which ruler or dynasty they belong to and the associated time period and their work within work they have even gone to an extent of asking you the theme or the subject matter of their work so there are three things which you need to know the time period their contribution and their most important contribution subject matter or the theme theek okay? hai ओके, सो दिस इज ऑल गिवन इन योर एनसीआर टी बाई दी देखो अच्छा मैंने थर्ड सेंचुरी बी सी बोल दिया था नहीं फिफ्थ सेंचुरी बी सी है अष्टध्यायी ऑफ पानिनी ये आपके कौन सी क्लास में है थीम्स इन इंडियन हिस्ट्री पार्ट वन राइट तो जो पीछे टेबल दिया होता है ना ऑफ द टाइम लाइन डोंट इग्नोर इट 
there have been questions asked by upsc from this table or box again theek hai i understand even i get confused in timeline <laughs> but you have to do it ye ek din pehle hi yaad hota hai right so that's about it so you have to do the time periods given जैसे कई बार आपको पता नहीं होता है कि रामायण और महाभारत कब लिखी गई थी सो देव बीन रिटर्न अक्रॉस सेंचुरीज सो वॉट इज दी सेंचुरी फाइव हंड्रेड बी सी टू फोर हंड्रेड सेंचुरी ए डी ठीक है देन कम्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन क्वेश्चन विद रेफरेंस टू द हिस्ट्री ऑफ एंशंट इंडिया भवभूति हस्तीमला एंड शिमेश्वर वर फेमस जैन मॉन्ग्स प्ले राइट्स टेम्पल आर्किटेक्ट फिलोसफर्स भवभूति वॉज अ प्ले राइट अगेन इन गुप्ता डायनेस्टी ठीक है तो दे आर फेमस प्ले राइट्स जैसे मैंने बोला कि एवरी डायनेस्टी हैज देयर इम्पॉर्टेंट स्कॉलर्स एंड यू हैव टू नो देयर नेम्स एंड वर्क सिमिलरली अगेन यू सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री में भी इन्होंने एक्चुअल क्वेश्चन ही पूछा है वर्क्स एंड हु हैज रिटर्न दैट वर्क देवी चंद्रगुप्त बिलहन हमीर महाकाव्य नयन चंद सूरी मिलिंद पन्हा नागार्जुन नीति वाक्य मित्र सोमदेव सूरी टू नेम्स सो यू डोंट नो एट ऑल है ना सो देर विल बी क्वेश्चन लाइक दीज विच विल बी डिफिकल्ट एंड इफ यू आर इन दिस एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री यू डोंट हैव इवन स्कोप ऑफ एलिमिनेशन right so that means there are certain things which you have to know but for sure either you skip this or you take it in your or with your risk that it might be negative for you even if you attempt right so bilhan or devi chandragupt so vishak dath has written two important works one was mudra rakshasa and the other one was devi chandragupt so it is the work of vishak dath and not bilhan bilhan ne kya likhi thi rajat rangini which was a work on the which area kashmir theek hai so that's about it so important scholars dynasties and their work ek cheez which i have to tell you milin panhu the name which is given is nagarjun humne ek screenshot mein dekha tha that nagarjun was a mahayan thinker or philosopher right in your ncert i am again repeating in your ncert it's mentioned the famous indo greek ruler was menander he is also known by the name milind he had his capital at sakal in punjab and invaded the ganga yamuna dwap he was converted to buddhism by nagsen who is also known as nagarjun to milind panno or panha is given and the name उसके सामने इज गिवन नागार्जुन सो एन सी आर टी से नागसेन एंड नागार्जुन आर सेम बट हिस्टोरिकली वेन इट कम्स टू मिलिन पन्नो इट इज नागसेन नॉट नागार्जुन नागार्जुन इज अ महायान थिंकर हु इज क्रेडिटेड विद द फिलोसफी ऑफ गिविंग शून्यता शून्यता इज नॉट जीरो इट इज एमटीनेस मध्यमिका माग राइट so another reason why i'm saying that if someone has marked or who has given the paper this year would have said ki nahi nagarjun bhi sahi hona chahiye so answer should not be only two it should be on only three first of all upsc will decide theek hai and upsc has already decided in 1997 there was this question given king milind and which bil would this monk had a dialogue in milin pano nagsen and nagarjun 1997 maine bola na 20 years before me so i know that how upsc has played over the years so still we don't know कि आंसर क्या होगा बट आंसर इज डेफिनेटली दैट नागसेन इज नॉट नागार्जुन इफ दे आर इन द सेम क्वेश्चन राइट 
यस चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू संगम लिटरेचर एज आई टोल्ड यू दिस थीम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मेन्स एंड प्रिलिम्स एंड इन प्रिलिम्स ट्वाइस इन सेवन ईयर्स दिस थीम हैज बिन रिपीटेड मतलब दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट संगम लिटरेचर इन एंशियन साउथ इंडिया इज करेक्ट संगम पोएम्स आर डिवॉइड ऑफ एनी रेफरेंस टू मटीरियल कल्चर वॉट इज मटीरियल कल्चर बाय द वे जो मैटर पे बात मटीरियल कम्स फ्रॉम द वर्ड मैटर वॉट इज मैटर विच इज ऑफ यूज टू यू थोड़ा इकोनमी का फोकस होगा है ना तो मटीरियल मतलब विच यू कैन सी इकोनॉमिक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से और अदरवाइज ऑल्सो क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट सच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर ईजी अकॉर्डिंग टू मी रात दैन यू फाइंडिंग वॉट इज नॉट करेक्ट इसका मतलब तीन ऑप्शन आर रॉन्ग वन इज राइट इंस्टेड ऑफ थ्री राइट एंड वन रॉन्ग आर यू गेटिंग मी सो वेन एवर यू गेट सच क्वेश्चन डोंट लूज आउट ऑन दैम सो फर्स्ट इज डिवॉइड ऑफ एनी रेफरेंस मटीरियल ऐसा हो सकता है दैट संगम पॉइंट डो नॉट टेल यू अबाउट हाउ वॉज द इकोनमी वॉट वर द थिंग्स दैट वर यूज नहीं ना सो वन इज रॉन्ग संगम पोएम्स हैव नो रेफरेंस टू वॉरियर एथिक सो इफ समन नोज अबाउट संगम लिटरेचर इट हैज टू थीम्स लव थीम एंड वॉरियर थीम लव थीम अक्कम वॉरियर थीम पूरम ये बेसिक चीज है विच इज एसोसिएटेड विद संगम लिटरेचर सो सी इज ऑल्सो नॉट करेक्ट द ओनली बॉदर सम प्रॉब्लम इज बी एंड डी बट आई स्टिल फील दैट इफ समन हैज प्रिपेयर संगम लिटरेचर दे विल बी एबल टू डू इट बिकॉज संगम लिटरेचर डज टेल यू अबाउट द सोशल क्लासिफिकेशन एंड द कम्युनिटीज दैट वर एग्जिस्टिंग एट द संगम एज ड्यूरिंग दी संगम एज तो बी तो हैज टू बी करेक्ट राइट देन कम्स योर सो दिस क्वेश्चन अगैन हैज बीन पिकड अप फ्रॉम दिस बुक बट आई फील दैट संगम लिटरेचर हैज टू बी डन अक्कम पुरम वॉरियर एथिक्स से देर वॉज दिस क्वेश्चन अगैन आस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री पे मे सो दिस इयर which one of the following explains the practice of vatta kirutal as uh, mentioned in the sangam poems so as i told you there are only two themes which are dominant akkam and puram warrior ethic war winning the war has been very important for the rulers in sangam period wo itna important tha that rulers if they used to not win the war they used to commit suicide there was another element which was very prominent during sangam age and through sangam literature which we find find out was that there was hero worship or nadu kal worship which was worshiping the person or ruler right so this vatta kirutal was a term used or a process when the king defeated in the battle committed suicide by starving himself to death because he was so shameful of himself and this process not only included the king jo uske army mein the hote the soldiers who used to you know fight the war with him they also sometimes used to do this practice which was known as vatta kirutha so there is a reason why upsc has certain terms ek hota hai point of view that you think ki ye to fact hai जो मैंने कल बोला था इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दी एसेंस यू अंडरस्टैंड विच टर्म टू रिमेंबर एंड विच टर्म टू लीव फॉर यू पी एस सी विच टेल्स यू द स्टोरी और द एसेंस दैट्स दैट टर्म इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ठीक है सो डी इज दी आंसर ये भी इसी बुक में था वट्टा के रुद्र योर उपेंदर सिंह बुक ठीक है जैसे मैंने बोला थीम पे जाओ सो संगम लिटरेचर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो यू डू इट फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कॉन्टेंट विच यू फाइंड आई दर इन क्लास और योर करंट अफेयर्स और टेस्ट सीरीज एनी थिंग राइट देन कम्स योर क्वेश्चन ऑन म्यूजिक एंड पेंटिंग्स थ्री क्वेश्चन ये भी सेक्शन थोड़ा रैंडम है बट वट एवर क्वेश्चन हैव बीन आस्ट 
they have been very static and fundamental right the well known painting banithani belongs to so if someone is doing painting there is a book introduction to indian art part 2 which is dedicated to paintings i am again repeating although i will be repeating the sources all over again but there is a new ncrt introduction to indian art part 2 i am not talking about the part 1 part 2 which is wholly dedicated to paintings so if one wants to prepare paintings for mains and prelims they can refer that book and that is about it bas utni hi book important hai uske beyond what is coming in the newspaper is more than sufficient for paintings as a theme so banithani painting uh, belongs to which of the following schools kishangarh bahut static fundamental question hai 2018 mein ye aaya i am just showing you the newspaper and the news newspaper chodo news mein i am just showing you so that you align your newspaper reading with your prelims or mains so 2017 mein there was this news banithani paintings to welcome passengers at kishangarh airport kishangarh has a legacy of bani banithani painting kishangarh mein airport khula hoga to banithani nahi bani hogi to kaise baat banegi <laughs> right so this is how it goes any cultural aspect which you find in your airport any new airport railway station metro line abhi g20 summit hua tha there were many themes which were uh, put forward right you have to know them this year g20 showed very various themes on culture handicraft paintings gi tags showcase hue you can expect a question in 2024 on the you know things which were gifted or showcased or were highlighted on twitter or x or certain reels ki koi dignitary ki wife aayi and she was wearing something or was very uh, surprised to see that kala <laughs> right that art so those things can be asked so this is how again you have to relate your newspaper with culture theek okay? hai then comes your another question which is newspaper related a random article like bada imam bara and uh, the paper setter asked question from using the content given in that article all the question looks very static and fundamental again till the time you don't discover that from where did it come from wo aapka kaam nahi hai mind you don't indulge into the things which we are doing for you because that's not your task your task is to have certain guidelines and safe zones which we are telling you right kyunki ye karte rahoge to fir to there is no end to your story right so with reference to mia tansen which one of the following statements is not correct tansen was the title given to him by emperor akbar now agar main ye bol bhi rahi hu that this has come from the newspaper just give it a thought that when you are preparing let's say moguls or tansen aapko ye to pata hona chahiye na wo question mark ki tansen title kisne diya tha or was it a title or was this is uh, was that his original name are you understanding so question hi yahi par khatam ho gaya hai tansen was the title given to him not by Mughal Emperor Akbar. Let's read the other statements and then we'll come back to the newspaper. Tansen composed Drupad on Hindu gods and goddesses. Drupad has already been asked by UPSC in 2012 or 13. So you should know what is Drupad. Drupads are basically mantras or the syllables or a kind of music for religious theme. Tansen composed songs on his patrons or patrons. मतलब अपने रूलर्स की याद में या उनके लिए वेन यू नो द रूलर टोल्ड हिम कि यार आज ना बारिश हो रही है एंड मौसम बहुत सुहाना है कंपोज सम राग ऑन दिस सो ही यूज टू कंपोज सीजनल रागाज ऑल्सो है ना बसंत ऋतु थीम और रागा ऑन ऋतु सो आई एम नॉट जोकिंग आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग इट लाइक दैट बिकॉज इफ यू स्टडी लाइक दैट 
then only it registers. Okay. Tansen invented many ragas. Obviously, he would have. Itne to usne ragas nikale the for every season and reason, right? So this article came in Hindu, 2018. May question came in 2019. Let us read the things. Just तरीके से UPSC ने question बनाया. उसी format, उसी sequence में the things were written. Tansen was the title given to him by Raja Vikramjit of Gwalior. First line was Tansen was given title by Akbar. वहीं पर उसने paper setter had set the trap. He composed many drupads on Ganesh, Shiv, Parvati, and Ram. He also composed songs on his patrons. He invented night raga, darbari kanhar, morning raga, midday raga, seasonal raga. So he invented ragas. मैंने बोला ना for various seasons and reasons. So this is how it goes. But जैसे मैंने बोला, you cannot target these articles. But you should always be knowing and searching the basic facts. You should be knowing about them. ठीक है, ये तो एक just it happened कि I'm telling you or we are telling you. But the message is clear that it might you might be at, a, at an advantage in somewhere ki wo article aagya, you happen to make notes of it and the question is done from your end but basic information should be known to you hai? let's come to another question ye bhi ncrt ka question hai very easy question who among the following mughal emperors shifted emphasis from illustrated manuscripts to album and individual portrait Illustrated manuscripts were the thing of Akbar and Humayun. Paintings, जब हम पढ़ते हैं in the Mughal court, it was Jahangir who was credited with shifting the theme of manuscripts to portrait, and he himself was having such a, you know, a fine eye that he could even figure it out that. In a painting, because at that time it was a fashion that the same painting will be drawn or different parts of the painting will be drawn by different painters. So he had such a fine eye that he could distinguish that hat kisi ne banaya hai, pair kisi ne banaya hai, mu kisi ne banaya hai. Right? So when you read such things, under Jahangir, special progress was made in portrait painting and paintings of animals. Don't Skip these lines by just reading it as they are. I have said adjectives. This is describing something. Ki it was a fashion in Mughal school for the faces, bodies and feet of the people in a single picture to be painted by different artists. Jahangir claims that he could distinguish the work of each artist in a picture. This is like a serial like serial. Emphasize on it. Don't remember. Don't read it black and white ki tarah. Ab to AI or 3D aa gaya hai. The visual effects should come from every di direction. Right? So that's how you are reading the things for UPSC. Chalo, next set of questions. Cultural places or sites and traditions, GI tags. Total seven questions. This is the difficult theme of all. Iske liye I don't have too many sources to recommend to you. Except newspaper or your PT 365 or current affairs magazine, which covers certain sections like these, right? See, I will be very honest to you. This is not a section which you can prepare because there are so many cultural traditions and GI tags, and it's not possible that you can prepare. So seven questions. That means a question to aara every year, right? With reference to Manipuri Sankirtan, classical dance. है ना क्लासिकल डांस है क्या है
satriya is a classical dance sankirtan is a folk tradition musical plus dance tradition it is a song and dance performance is it given any tag by unesco ye dekh lena whether it is in the representative list or nominated one theek hai it is a song and dance performance yes cymbals are the only musical instruments used in the performance are the only musical instruments no it is performed to narrate the life and deeds of lord krishna yes so there is a website called ccrt i don't know i am not keeping and having all the books <laughs> used by you but i have heard that ccrt has also published a book whatever is written on its site and it's found in your markets as well but even if you don't have access to book you go and visit the site for various themes on culture like these music dance literature architecture other than ncert this is a very good site and content from which you can prepare so it says manipur dance has some popular forms known as ras sankirtan and thangta theek hai why i'm reading this for you because this uh, will tell you how to read and what not to read what to skip and what to register so manipur has various forms of performances like ras sankirtan and thangta there are five principal ras dances of which four are linked with specific seasons and while the fifth one can be presented at any time of the year in manipuri ras the main characters are radha krishna and gopis what is ras juice flavor right so it says manipur performances have different flavors or themes like ras sankirtan and thangta ras are linked with different seasons so there are different themes on which certain performances are done chahe wo monsoon ki ho chahe wo summer ki ho chahe wo winter ki ho and the main characters are radha krishna and gopi right ras leela radha krishna hai without saying you just have to remember ras leela bas aur ye kuch nahi padhna hai theek hai fir aate hain hum ha when the pictures are given just try to see the costumes and the instruments which they are playing so in kirtan form of congregational singing accompanies the dance which is known as sankirtan in manipur the male dancers play pung and kartal while dancing the masculine aspect of dance the choloms are part of sankirtan tradition pung and kartal choloms are performed at all social and religious festivals teen cheeze pakadni hai isme se one male aspect hai राइट right? उसको चोलोम्स बोलते हैं पुंग एंड करताल आर द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स विच से यूज एंड बेसिकली दिस काइंड ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस इज डिस्प्लेड ऑन वेरियस सोशल एंड रिलीजियस फेस्टिवल्स क्वेश्चन क्या है अबाउ सॉन्ग एंड डांस परफॉर्मेंस सिंबल्स आर द ओनली म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट नो it's performed to narrate the life and deeds of lord krishna yes inherent manipuri form has which flavor radha krishna ras leela theek hai to 1 and 3 is the answer then comes your difficult question like this traditions and the communities which are associated with them chaliya sahib festival sindhis nand raj jat yatra gond Vari Varkari tradition Santhal. Vari Varkari tradition is associated with Lord Vithab. Santhals are in some different region of India. That's Jharkhand, and Lord Vithab, Maharashtra. So Santhals and Vari Varkari do not match. Nand Raj Jat Yatra Gonds. This Yatra. 
is performed on at Nanda Devi. Nanda Devi, Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand gones no relation. So two is also wrong. Chaliya Sahib festival, Sindhis one only. So if you happen to know different traditions coming across by reading newspapers randomly or otherwise, fine. Otherwise, you cannot target these questions, to be very honest. Okay? Then comes again tradition and state. 17 mein aya, 18 mein aya. Thangta. Manipur. Three to nahi hai. Either answer is one only or one and two only. Kongjom Parba Ballad Chapchar Cut Festival. Dono say. Again, if you are lucky, fine that you happen to know some or the other things. Otherwise, I again feel that these things cannot be prepared. But yes, different regions can be targeted for certain foundational traditions. They say Western tradition. Northern India mein kya hai, Southern India mein kya hai, North East mein kya hai. Their famous traditions, two or three can be prepared. Other than that, I don't think so. UPSC is going also too deep in them. Both broad, broad traditions is what they are asking. Again, difficult question. GI tags or our handloom tradition. Puthu Kali shawls. Tamil Nadu, Sujni Embroidery, Maharashtra, Upad Jandani Saris, Karnataka. So difficult question, it all depends on your memory and interest. Right? So Portugali Shawl, Tamil Nadu, Sujni Embroidery is not in Maharashtra but done in Bihar. Upad Jandani Saris, not Karnataka but Andhra Pradesh. Okay? So one only is the answer. When this question was asked in 2018, there was an article, Bihar's Sujani embroidery has a GI tag, but why does not one know about it? So anything which the government or the newspapers are bringing to your light that one should have conservation effort or you know, things done to preserve it by exhibition or anything else, that becomes important. Okay? Then comes places and the present state. Ancient name of ancient places or medieval places are very important and have been asked by UPSC 10 20 years ago. Ye wo fir se le kar a rahe hai. Right? So, mere time pe aate the ancient names, medieval names of modern day cities. So, they used to be asked and they are again coming. Right? Isko karna kaise? I may, I can tell you. But again, I feel that you know you will not be able to retain. But I, I will tell you, India Yearbook, India Yearbook ke piche, there is information given on states and UTs. There you have historical names, there is information given on states and UTs. There you have historical information, which consists of giving you different traditions, different festivals, religious communities found, as well as ancient names of the cities. Ya to wo kar lo, which, are, which is too much. Or you have state tourism websites, which again gives you information on historical or tourist or cultural places. So source I am telling you, it's up to you. Either of them. But a question a raha hai. Or somewhere or the other, the information might benefit you. Somewhere or the other, I am not sure. Bhilsa. Bhilsa is also known as Bedsa, is also known as Vidisha. Vidisha, everyone knows, is in MP. So, these names are just confusing you. Dwar Samudram, Girinagar, Sthaneshwar, they are all very ancient and medieval names. Either you know them or you don't know them. This is a difficult question, unconventional. I am putting it in that category, but source I have mentioned it to you. Right? But the places that come, just try to Google their modern day names. Right? Why? Because this is again important. 
मैंने बोला ना 2023 एंड देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन इन 2020 ट्वेंटी भिलसा आई टोल्ड यू विदिशा बेस नगर बेस नगर इट्स नॉट अ शेवाइट केव क्राइम केव क्राइम नहीं सॉरी श्राइन इट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट वैष्णवाइड केव श्राइन विच हैज अ मूर्ति ऑफ लॉर्ड विष्णु ठीक है तो इसलिए इट्स एसोसिएटेड नॉट विथ शेवाइड बट वैष्णवाइड फेथ तो वन तो गलत है भाज एंड सीता नवसल आर वेरी ईजी केव्स विच यू कैन फाइंड आउट इन योर एन सी आर टी ऑल्सो बट ये क्वेश्चन डिफिकल्ट क्यों है बिकॉज बहुतों को ये नहीं पता होगा एंड हाउ कैन यू डू सर्टन थिंग्स बेस्ड ऑन प्रीवियस योर पेपर्स बाई प्रिपेयरिंग द ऑलरेडी गिवन ऑप्शन ठीक है तो बेस नगर वी डन आई टोल्ड यू कि ये केव्स आर मैंशनड इन योर एन सी आर टी भाज केव्स सीता नवसल सो दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज वेरी ईजी अदरवाइज हाँ अब आते हम प्लेसेज लाइक दीज अजंता केव्स लाई इन दी गॉर्ज ऑफ वगोर रिवर साची स्तूप लाइज इन दी गॉर्ज ऑफ चंबल रिवर पांडू लेन केव श्राइन्स लाई इन द गॉर्ज ऑफ नर्मदा रिवर अमरावती स्तूप लाइज इन दी गॉर्ज ऑफ गोदावरी रिवर मैंने क्या बोला था कि वेन यू कम अक्रॉस सर्टन क्वेश्चन लाइक दीज The whole idea of UPSC goes for a toss. That are you going to learn their rivers and gorges as well, of all the caves which you know? No. Why? Question is asked on what is correct. Because they are checking only Ajanta caves. Or Ajanta caves? Why? It is a World Heritage site. So. for topics which you need to prepare in which you are checked will be your world heritage sites or any tag given by unesco other than that you can't prepare <laughs> geography of every cave right so this is the understanding and analysis which you have to do right then comes ha वैसे ये by the way maharashtra tourism website pe this vagor river is mentioned तो इसलिए आई टोल्ड यू स्पेसिफिकली टूरिज्म वेबसाइट्स आइदर यू डू इट फ्रॉम योर ओन थिंग कि यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग ऑन योर ओन एवरी वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट और यू टेक हेल्प ऑफ टूरिज्म वेबसाइट्स वेर अजंता केव्स आर फाउंड और एलोरा एंड टेम्पल्स और मोन्यूमेंट्स लाइक दैम थ्रू द टूरिज्म वेबसाइट ठीक है देन कम्स योर फोर क्वेश्चन डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड टू करंट अफेयर्स और न्यूज पेपर राइट 2022, this question came. Yog Vashisht was translated into Persian by Nizamuddin Panipati during the reign of. Uh, why, after so many years, this question has been asked, and for the first time in the history of UPSC, if I may say so, <laughs> right? Why? 2020 2021 कोविड का ईयर था यस एंड यू ऑल हैव बीन विटनेस टू इट सो वी डिड वेरी ग्रेट एक्शंस व्हिच बाइंडेड अस टुगेदर इन दैट पीरियड ऑफ लोनलीनेस एंड अनसर्टेनिटी एक था कैंडल जलाना वन वाज थाली पीटना Yes, tali bajana. You know, clapping your hands. Didn't you do it? Yes, we all did it. Why? What was the science behind it? Because everyone was saying, na, that so and so has gone mad. No. There was a science behind it. How many of you are from sociology background, or have their optionals at sociology? Have you come across this word called collective consciousness? 
what is collective consciousness when people come together they bind together and you see unity and solidarity yes to simplify it so this tali bajana and beating the utensils was propagated and promoted during covid years and this yog vishisht which was translated into persian by nizamuddin panipati during the reign of akbar was talking about this collective consciousness so when you come together your happy hormones rise when you are happy i am just using this word ace2 receptor in our bodies which when you are happy kills your viruses aise bolte nahi hai when someone is about to die that you have to be strong you have to have that will power that will power has been established by science that if it is there you can beat the death or any any disease jaise cancer ke liye bhi bolte right so it is all happening inside our body which we had to fight this fighting when done together binds us with this collective consciousness and this whole philosophy of collective consciousness was mentioned in this book that is or chapter yog vishisht and that was also highlighted by the very famous cardiologist who has died who was giving articles and who was you know making people aware on insta twitter news channels about this right that has probably motivated this random work to be asked एकदम से तो सपना आएगा नहीं कि चलो आज हम पूछते हैं योग वशिष्ट वॉज ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू पर्जन बाई अंडर विच रूलर समथिंग इज देयर इन दिस करंट अफेयर्स और न्यूज पेपर विच हैज टू बी सॉर्टेड द वे यू रीड न्यूज पेपर विच आई नो इज नॉट राइट इसीलिए क्वेश्चन लाइक दीज गो आउट ऑफ योर हैंड ठीक है तो अगेन आई एम डूइंग माई धर्म इट्स अप टू यू हाउ टू री ओरियंट योर स्टडीज हाउ यू री ओरियंट द वे यू रीड न्यूज पेपर्स फॉर डिफरेंट थिंग्स राइट सो द आंसर इज अकबर लेट्स गो हेड विद अनदर क्वेश्चन वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन The world's second tallest statue was in sitting pose of Ramanuj was inaugurated by the PM of India at Hyderabad recently. Which one of the following statements correctly represents the teachings of Ramanuj? So, whenever you get news like these, you have to do the basic philosophy and the basic historical facts about that personality or any issue, right? So, Ramanuj was basically his main philosophy rested upon devotion. Salvation, how do we do? personal devotion bhakti right and that was what the answer was salvation was to be obtained through meditation no salvation vedas are eternal self existent and wholly authoritative no logical arguments were essential means for the highest bliss reasoning no so ramanuj's main philosophy was salvation through bhakti devotion right then comes your another question based on newspaper and covid era 2021 so uh, every year this feast is organized in goa in the memory of saint francis xavier in the covid year this feast was organized online theek hai to they asked about saint francis xavier or dekho ye feast important hai which gives you an insight Why this question was asked? Because you know, they particularly a feast word used here. As I told you, feast is organized every year, but due to COVID uh, times, one could not organize it. So they organized it in online mode. So the feast of Saint Francis Xavier is celebrated in Goa each year. Why will they ask feast? Reason, I am telling you. Okay. 
Saint Francis Xavier died in Goa. No, he he died in China. His body was brought to Goa. So two is wrong, and the moment you eliminate two, you arrive at the answer. ठीक है तो न्यूज़पेपर रीडिंग कैसे करनी है आई एम शोइंग यू क्वेश्चंस गोवा फेमस एनुअल फीस्ट ऑफ सेंट फ्रांसिस जेवियर टू गो ऑनलाइन दिस कोविड योर ठीक है देन कम्स अनदर क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इट डज नॉट लुक लाइक करंट अफेयर्स बट इट इज करंट अफेयर्स With reference to India, the terms halbi ho and kui pertain to tribal languages. Otherwise, also UPSC has asked tribal languages or tribes uh, in their papers, but it has a link with current affairs or newspaper or random readings or interest. So, halbi ho and kui. So these are tribal rappers from Bastar area who came. With the rap song in Halbi language. आप समझ रहे हो एक तो वैसे ही बस्तर area है it's a Maoist area, so called है ना and from there if tribals are coming up with rap songs, it is an achievement which the newspapers, probably Hindu and Indian Express did not catch it. but these kind of news you get on google or random twitter feeds right and that's how you do such questions theek hai to agar koi app launch ho raha hai or news like these don't take it very lightly you have to make use of the information given right then comes your ancient history questions can we have a 10 minute break and then we start ancient medieval yes okay so now we will be doing the questions pertaining to ancient and medieval but before starting with the ancient and medieval there are certain uh, things which you have to note down with respect to how to prepare and what to prepare in this section right so let's understand how you have to cover according to upsc papers ancient and medieval so i am doing the these sections together first of all if you are starting with ancient and medieval obviously it starts with the knowledge of dynasties who ruled or from which time period the civilization came right within the dynasties their founders rulers not all rulers important rulers who have done certain monumental landmark contribution is what you will focus time period without saying right and their contemporaries now contemporaries could be if let's say any bhakti or sufi saint was prevalent during their time contemporary could be rulers with rulers of other dynasties contemporaries with respect to rulers who were involved in fighting with them so knowledge of contemporaries with respect to these aspects uske baad aate hain hum very important area that is invasions whether ancient or medieval who all have tried to invade and invaded the indian subcontinent the personalities time period and under whose rulers reign right then comes the geographical or fertile areas due to which they were having struggles between each other right 
right then comes your travelers and the information they gave about the ancient and medieval you know rulers and society economy administration etc cultural aspects otherwise to you do separately but if you do along with ancient and medieval it is helpful to relate jaise just to give you an example cultural aspects like literature so if you are doing gupta period so you do the literature and the works that were written and the scholars prevalent at that point of time right so the cultural aspects like paintings literature music architecture monuments etc now coming to a very critical aspect based on which upsc has started again the questions and that is political history now this political history dekho at our times it was actually me battle were fought between whom and stuff like that what you can do is at least the rulers the founders and the landmark battles they fought which led to the rise and decline of an empire rise and decline is what you will focus right so they have started asking the founder of a dynasty important rulers of the dynasty they have started asking invasions which is part of your political history mind you ha na so all these things is what upsc is asking in ancient and medieval right now if we go shall i rub this ha geographical and fertile areas matlab jaise tripartite struggle happened between gujjar pratihar rashtrakutas and palas over which land which area why magadh was chosen by mauryas why in vijayanagar and bamini kingdom particular area was the bone of contention right so this is what i mean by geography and the struggles related theek okay? hai shall i rub this now now coming to specific ancient and medieval themes recurrent themes which you see in upsc papers if you have to focus on certain areas they will be rigvedic age or vedic age indus valley civilization mauryas guptas in south it sangam to be on a safer side but as i told you that upsc has started asking questions from this section they are exploring the transitional phase you understand by transitional phase which is having overlap with your medieval matlab late ancient dynasties and early medieval dynasties which mark the fall of ancient period or decline of ancient period and rise of medieval period is the dynasties which they are exploring right when you talk about medieval themes it starts from delhi sultans or sultanate period mughals specifically vijayanagar empire in south mind you the sangam age includes your chola chera and pandyas and then there are 
imperial cholas pallavas ye jo main bol rahi hu na transitional 7th century ad 8th century ad you have to specifically prepare across ancient medieval travelers their professions their sayings their observations right then last but not the least and the most difficult one bhakti and sufi very difficult <laughs> all this is very difficult if you do not have interest and don't study with interest all will go all clear like vanish ठीक है सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम सो दिस इज वॉट आई हैव टोल्ड यू हाँ एक एक और चीज है मेडिसिन साइंस एंड मैथमेटिक्स दी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द लिटरेचर एसोसिएटेड विद इट या कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर्स लाइक आर्य भट्ट राइट सो देयर वर्क देयर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज ऑल्सो एन एरिया विच यू कैन प्रिपेयर ठीक है चलो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन एंड वेदिक एज थ्री क्वेश्चन हैव बीन आस्ट इन द लास्ट सेवन ईयर्स टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ हरअपन साइट चानूदारो कोट दिजी सोगोड़ा देसलपुर नाउ यू विल आस्क मी हाउ टू रिमेंबर विच साइट इज विच ऑफ विच एज एंड विच सिविलाइजेशन you have to know it how you can know it uh, there is a map in your ncert whether old or new ye sab dekhna hai aapko how you have to see i am again telling you the things which have already been explored by upsc they have also asked you which is the northern most site of indus valley civilization in the indian subcontinent eastern most western most southern most right they have also or they can they have already asked which is not the harappan site right then this was a very easy question dola vira pe because it had been nominated in that year to as a world heritage site to isliye this question was asked and uh, the question was very simple now coming to very quickly the framework with respect to indus valley civilization in the last 20 years the questions have mostly been centered around sites jaise maine bola northern most eastern most southern most you have to do all that thing right the findings important findings ab question aata hai when where you will be bothered do we have to remember all the sites and their findings no the findings which have been path breaking or reveal something about the nature of indus valley civilization theek hai jaise agar first instance of let's say burial mila ya largest site of burial so adjective jahan par bhi milega largest or first time those findings and the site associated with it will be done by you right iska source batati hu specific harappa dot com. Don't get overwhelmed by the information it carries. Please trim it down according to UPSC requirement. जैसे मैंने बोला, largest and the first of its kind is what you can know. Southernmost locate करने की कोशिश करो. Easternmost, westernmost, northernmost. These are the general awareness and GK kind of questions, right? Next thing is the social and economic life. ये आपको कैसे पता चलता है अगेन थ्रू द फाइंडिंग्स सो एवरीथिंग इज रिलेटेड है ना जैसे हम बोल रहे हैं वाटर रिजर्वर उन्होंने क्या पूछा है कहां पर था साइट्स फिर आते हैं हम कल्चरल एस्पेक्ट्स में दिस इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ रिलीजन and faith one could see in indus valley civilization 
तीन वर्ड्स हैं नेचर वर्शिप पॉलीथीस्टिक एंड फलू वर्शिप विच डिस्क्राइब्स इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन रिलीजन नेचर वर्शिप यू ऑल नो ट्री प्लांट रॉक पॉलीथीस्टिक डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ वर्शिप दे वर्शिप वेमेन कल्ट ऑल्सो मेल ऑल्सो नेचर ऑल्सो फलू वर्शिप इज द जेनेटल वर्शिप ठीक है जो ह्यूमन ऑर्गन्स रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स होते हैं उनकी वर्शिप सो दिस डिस्क्राइब्स एंड यू आर डन विद इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन का रिलीजन ठीक है एंड दैट इज अबाउट इट फाइंडिंग्स में हॉर्स इज देयर फेवरेट वन राइट वेदर आर्यंस केम फर्स्ट इन विच एज हरप्पन एज और ऋग्वेदिक एज इज वॉट अगेन इज अ मैटर ऑफ डिबेट है ना सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन फर्दर तो ये तो दो क्वेश्चन थे ऑन द साइट इट सेल्फ एंड ये देसलपुर इज गिवन इन उपेंद्र सिंह ठीक है ये मैप दिया हुआ है उस बुक में और वहाँ पर मैंशनड है देसलपुर हाँ ये भी पता होना चाहिए कि गुजरात में कौन सी है हरियाणा में कौन सी है द फेमस वंस दिस इज हरप्पा डॉट कॉम इट लुक्स लाइक दिस सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू जस्ट एंटर कोट द जी यू विल गेट इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट कोट द जी अब देर इज सो मैनी इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑब्वियसली यू कैन नॉट रिमेंबर एंड यू डोंट हैव टू इवन रिमेंबर बट थिंग्स विच आर डिस्क्राइबिंग द एज ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन जैसे इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन इज दी अर्बन फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ अर्बनाइजेशन तो उसको अर्बनाइजेशन क्यों बोलते हैं और अर्बन सिविलाइजेशन क्यों बोलते हैं देर आर सर्टन रीजन एंड इफ यू गेट दोज फाइंडिंग्स यू जस्ट नोट इट डाउन राइट टेराकोटा बैंगल्स मिली थी स्ट्रीट डेबरी मिला था गोल्ड सीक्वेंस मिला था राइट सो दैट्स अबाउट इट एलिफेंट फेमस एनिमल था फीमेल फिगरिंग्स बिकॉज मेन्स में भी ये क्वेश्चन बहुत पूछते हैं ऑन इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन That's why I told you about this site. Otherwise, I would not have had. Because you need examples to write answers for mains, which you don't get in your NCERT or through NCERT, right? Acha, <coughs> Deshilpur ka ek bahut famous finding hai a massive fort, right? And uh, many houses were constructed just against the inner face of the fortification, right? Then comes your question, very controversial question. UPSC के हिसाब से horse is not information about horse or Indus Valley people having any awareness of for the horse is is what the fact is. Statement है Rig Vedic Aryans had domesticated the horse, whereas there is no evidence of Indus Valley people having been aware of this animal. जैसे मैंने कल भी बोला था that you may get You may get नहीं You have content written in your NCERT which says टी विथ सेस कि हाँ हॉर्स रिमेन्स और हॉर्स फाइंडिंग्स हैव बीन फाउंड फ्राम सुरकोडा लोथल प्रोटोटाइप ऑफ हॉर्स कुड बी फाउंड एंड दिस इज नॉट ओनली गिवन इन योर एन सी आर टी बट ऑल्सो इन एल बाशम उपिंदर सिंह ऑल द मेजर हिस्ट्री बुक्स राइट बट यू पी एस सी रिजेक्ट दिस थियोरी बिकॉज एज आई टोल्ड यू देर आर वेरी there are many modern day theories which have this view that what is supposed to be horse is not a horse right to isliye three is wrong and only one is the answer but jo bhi hai whatever facts have been asked by upsc in rigvedic uh, age as well as comparing it with indus valley civilization is what you need to know jaise rigvedic aryans knew gold silver and copper whereas indus valley people knew only copper and tin that means knowledge about metals is also expected metal kyu because metal marks the stage of civilization when you found iron you could cut the forest and hence we see the second stage of urbanization through the rise of mauryas or magadhan empire right 
तो इसीलिए नॉलेज ऑफ मेटल्स इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट इन दी इस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ एनी डायनेस्टी ड्यूरिंग एंशंट टाइम्स रिग वेदिक आर्यन यूज कोट ऑफ मेल एंड हेलमेट इन वॉरफेयर वेर आज द पीपल ऑफ इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन डिड नॉट लीव एनी एविडेंस ऑफ यूजिंग दम मतलब रिग वेदिक आर्यन ने हेलमेट भी पहना हुआ था लड़ाई करते हुए जस्ट इमेजिन तो सी यू हैव टू विजुअलाइज एंड हरप्पन बिंदास थे कोई हेलमेट वेलमेट के रिमेन्स उन्होंने छोड़े नहीं प्रॉब्ली दे वर नॉट यूजिंग इट राइट so that's about it that's how you have to use the information then comes questions on mauryan dynasty there have been three questions why i'm uh, showing you this map because these places again mauryan sites rock edicts they are very important major rock edicts minor rock edicts ab i am not telling you to remember all the major and all the minor rock edicts but at least major rock edicts you have to know and very important rock edicts which are found or uh, which are mentioned in your ncert theek hai kyunki question aate hain edicts pe and their description in which of the following relief sculpture inscriptions is ranyo ashok mentioned along with the stone portrait of ashok so there are different names given to ashok in various inscriptions or edicts वट एवर नेम इज गिवन वे चाहे वो रन्यू अशोक हो चाहे वो पिया दासी हो और अशोक हो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट साइट वेर हिज नेम और प्रोटो नेम हैज बीन यूज ठीक है सो दिस कंगन हली गिवज अ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द नेम रन्यो अशोक ठीक है इसीलिए यू पी एस सी है डास्ट इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एंड दिस इज मैंशन इन योर ए बुक भूपिंदर सिंह रन्यो अशोक कंगन हल्ली स्तूप ठीक है देन कम्स अगेन क्वेश्चन ऑन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ऑन अशोकाज मेजर रॉक एडिक्ट एंड देयर लोकेशन धौली एरागुड़ी जौगड़ा कलसी धौली उड़ीसा इवन दिस एरागुड़ी एंड कलसी इज मैंशन इन योर एन सी आर टी ठीक है तो my point being here is that major rock edicts and the places where rock edicts have been found they are to be done because upsc ne pehle bhi puche hai aur ab bhi puch raha hai question right <coughs> so dholi is in odisha eragudi andhra jogda eragudi is in andhra jogda ये मैप ये आपके आई थिंक सिक्स एन सी आर टी में गिवन है कलसी ये है देहरादून उत्तराखंड राइट जौगड़ा उड़ीसा राइट लुम्बिनी तोपरा सुपारा मस्की एरागुड़ी दीज प्लेसेस गिरनार रामपुरवा लोरिया लुम्बिनी तो पता होता ही है आप लोगों को टोपरा शाहबाजगढ़ी मानसेड़ा इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट वाली साइड्स है ना वेदर इट्स इंडस वैली और मॉरन एम्पायर दे आर अगेन वेरी हॉट फेवरेट्स ऑफ यू पी एस सी ठीक है सो मैन एवर यू गेट सच मैप्स इन योर स्मॉल क्लास एन सी आर टी और इलेवन ट्वेल्थ यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर धौली दिया हुआ है देखो आपकी इंट्रोडक्शन टू इंडियन आर्ट पार्ट वन में राइट धौली इन उड़ीसा देन कम्स दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन वेर यू डोंट हैव एनी इंफॉर्मेशन ऊपर से द सोर्स विच यू विच सम ऑफ यू रेफर हैज बीन प्रूव रॉन्ग बाय यू पी एस सी तो इट फील सो बैड सो लेट सी द क्वेश्चन अकॉर्डिंग टू कौटिल्याज अर्थशास्त्र विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर करेक्ट यू कैन नॉट प्रिपेयर दिस टॉपिक फॉर प्रॉब्लम्स मतलब यू कैन प्रोडिक्ट दैट दिस कैन बी आस्ट स्पेसिफिकली द फैक्ट्स विच दे हैव आस्ट अ पर्सन कुड बी अ स्लेव एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ जुडिशल पनिशमेंट इफ अ फीमेल स्लेव बोर हर मास्टर अ सन शी वॉज लीगली फ्री थर्ड इफ अ सन बॉर्न टू अ फीमेल स्लेव वॉज फादर्ड बाय हर मास्टर द सन वॉज एंटाइटल टू द लीगल स्टेटस ऑफ द मास्टर सन अब फॉर श्योर विथ फुल श्योरिटी यू कैन नॉट से ना हाँ कि दिस इज ऑल्सो राइट दिस इज ऑल्सो राइट एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो राइट 
or this could be wrong with some logic no whenever this is mentioned that with reference to some text or some idea you have to tell which statement is correct your all logic fails theek hai otherwise all three statements are correct this is also correct but upsc ne ek diya hai to n3 only a person could be a slave as a result of the judicial punishment if you read nios you have a shastra states that a man could be a slave by a birth by birth by voluntarily selling himself by being captured in war or as a result of judicial punishment to upsc ne to bola ye hai nahi you have to believe right isliye i am not targeting this question and you should also not target such themes the themes which we wrote in the beginning of the discussion is what you can focus right so this question is difficult and out of your reach altogether agar aapne padha bhi hoga some of you they would have marked this wrong according to upsc right gupta empire again the places don't underestimate them so there have been two questions <coughs> from gupta empire terms terminologies whether it is an ancient medieval or culture they are important from the upsc perspective but which terminology you should do i have already told you the answer which are explaining or depicting certain characteristics of that age right jaise unhone forced labor hi kyun pucha hai during gupta time mein right so these terms which reveal the economic character of any civilization unke terms pata hone chahiye jaise forced labor vishti kya hai which of the following statements is correct although i feel that this question is difficult still but my point being here is that the things which you can still uh, you know prepare in terms of terminology should not be missed out like these which reveal the characteristic of a certain dynasty to so, it was considered a source of income for the state a sort of tax paid by the people yes it was totally absent in mp forced laborer was entitled to weekly wages the eldest son of the laborer was sent as a forced laborer why i am saying that this question is difficult because you don't get the information all the statements which are given in one book again the book is this where all these statements jo upsc ne use kiya hai the fact that most of the inscriptions referring to vishti come from मध्य प्रदेश एंड काठियावाड़ उन्होंने करा इट वाज टोटली एब्सेंट इन मध्य प्रदेश एंड काठियावाड़ ठीक है तो अगेन डिफिकल्ट है बट विष्टि इज इम्पोर्टेंट देन कमिंग टू क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर बेस्ड ऑन जो मैं आपको बता रही थी डायनेस्टीज राइज एंड फॉल ऑफ डायनेस्टीज राइट फ्रॉम द डिक्लाइन ऑफ गुप्ताज until the rise of harshvardhan in the early 7th century which of the following kingdoms were holding power in northern india theek hai this is a transitional phase from guptas till harshvardhan right and they have asked that jab tak so gupta was a major empire in ancient time period and so does harshvardhan so between harsha dynasty and gupta dynasty there were few dynasties specifically before the rise of harshvardhan which were they are you understanding to so, guptas of magadh parmars of malwa pushyabhuti is important yadavs of devgiri maitrikas of vallabhi upsc ye bhi kar sakta hai all these dynasties you should know and their time period they can give you any day the chronology or the time period right so answer is 1 3 4 and 6 yadavs of devgiri were not there and even the parmars of malwa before the rise of harshvardhan right source hai dekho ye but i still feel if you are doing rise of harshvardhan you should know certain dynasties which were existing jo maine aapko bola hai that is now being asked by upsc from the political angle right line se diya hua hai 
यही लाइन है देखो फ्रॉम द डिक्लाइन ऑफ गुप्ताज अंटिल द राइन दिस ऑफ हर्षा इन द अर्ली सेवन सेंचुरी फोर किंगडम्स इफेक्टिवली हेल्ड पावर गुप्ताज ऑफ मगध मोकरीज ऑफ कन्नौज पुष्यपूतीज ऑफ थानेसर एंड मैत्रकाज ऑफ अलावी ठीक है देन कम्स योर क्वेश्चन ऑन सिग्निफिकेंट एंशंट एंड हिस्टोरिकल प्लेसेस फोर क्वेश्चन हैव बीन आस्ट एंड जैसे मैंने बोला साइट्स विल ऑलवेज बी इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एंशंट एंड मिडीवल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वेदर इट्स एंशंट नेम मॉडर्न नेम मिडीवल नेम एंड द सिग्निफिकेंस बुर्जा होम रॉकट्स तो हैं इट्स इज अ नियोलिथिक साइट और अ स्टोन एज साइट है ना नॉट स्टोन एज बट रॉक्स हैं वहाँ पर श्राइन्स हैं या नहीं ये है क्या आज सो इट डज नॉट हैव रॉकट श्राइन श्राइन नहीं है सो वन इज रॉन्ग चंद्र केतु गढ़ गणेश्वर गणेश्वर तो फिर भी आपको एन सी आर टी में मिल जाएगा बट वॉट अबाउट चंद्र केतु गढ़ दिस अगेन हैज न्यूज पेपर सिग्निफिकेंस हेरिटेज पैनल प्लान इंटरनेशनल सेंटर एट चंद्र केतु गढ़ अब आप भी बोलोगे अगर इफ यू कैन सी इट वॉज गिवेन इन सेप्टेम्बर मंथ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वॉज अ कोविड ईयर हमारा प्रॉब्लम्स हुआ था अक्टूबर में तो वन क्वेश्चन विच आई गेट टिल वॉट टाइम डू वी हैव टू रीड न्यूज पेपर फॉर प्रॉब्लम्स वन मंथ सेवन सेप्टेम्बर को न्यूज थी टेंथ अक्टूबर को पेपर था और चंद्र केतुगढ़ यू विल नॉट गेट इन योर रेगुलर बुक्स आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट दे आर मिक्सिंग योर बुक प्लस न्यूज पेपर फॉर करंट अफेयर्स और फॉर क्वेश्चन ठीक है बाद में आई वॉन्ट अ चॉकलेट फ्रॉम यू मैन एवर यू मीड मी नेक्स्ट वाई इतनी मेहनत करी है मैंने to give you and tell you what to do what not to do in which one of the following regions so 2023 static and fundamental question tha pehle to but very again reading between the lines from your ncert in which one of the following regions was dhanya katak which flourished as a prominent buddhist center under the mahasanghikas located dhanya katak again was an ancient name or an area around amravati तो द आंसर इज आंध्रा आपकी ये एन सी आर टी है थीम्स इन इंडियन हिस्ट्री पार्ट वन यू हैव अ मैप सम इम्पॉर्टेंट किंगडम्स एंड टाउन्स जब आपको ऐसे मैप मिलते हैं मैन आई हैव टोल्ड यू कि आते हैं क्वेश्चन एंड देन यू से कहाँ से आ गया सो इट्स मैंशन इन योर एन सी आर टी सो इफ समन डज नॉट नो वेर इज पैठन विदिशा बहुत फेवरेट है सो सुपारा कहाँ है भरू कच्छ कहाँ है दीज आर नेम्स विच यू माई नॉट बी नोइंग टू मच महस्थान चंद्र केतु गढ़ तो एन सी आर टी तो पढ़ लो राइट मतलब पढ़ना मतलब यू हैव टू स्वॉलो इट राइट ओके वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन ऑफ 2023 अगेन वेरी इजी विद रेफरेंस टू एंशियंट साउथ इंडिया कॉर्का पुम्पहार एंड मुचरी वर वेल नोन एज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन दे आर पोर्ट्स अगेन 2023 जनवरी एंशियंट पोर्ट सिटी ऑफ पुम्पहार ट्रेस्ड अंडर सी That might have motivated or not have motivated. Is ki under I am not going, but that was a very easy question, and it has also been covered in your newspaper for some or the other reason, right? <coughs> Then comes your another question on sites: Ganta Shala, Kadura, and Chol. Very difficult question. You cannot reach out to such questions unless and until they are found in your NCERT. I am not recommending you to read Upinder Singh or Al Basham for ancient India, but ha Buddhism, Jainism ke liye you have to if you have to target one or two questions. 
but for ancient india even if it is i i, I tell you the source i don't recommend it aap kitna yaad kar loge places right at least do all the places the maps which are given in your ncert whether ancient or medieval right newspaper link tha ghanta shala ka but uh, i really pity you the way questions are being framed so if someone is getting such news or reading news ki ha there is a buddha statue unveiled at ghanta shala village at least ye pata hona chahiye ki ghanta shala hai kahan par and what is it all about so if someone would have read ki ye port ke side hai coastal area ke side hai one could have marked this could probability i am not very sure isliye i have classified it as unconventional and very difficult question right <coughs> okay then question on terminology one question kulya vap and drona vap these were terms related to denote measurement of land again a difficult question picked up from this book upinder singh kulya vap and drona vap they are measurements of land and uh, again very difficult question theek hai aapko bhagwan hi bachayega jab aise questions aayenge <laughs> then comes your medieval india questions framework we have discussed what all do we have to do in ancient medieval we'll just run through the questions right <clears throat> these become your significant key areas which i have already told you delhi sultanate mughals vijayanagar bhakti sufi terminology based questions sites based questions and the political transitional phase of certain dynasties isme invasions specifically invasions have become the hot favorite of upsc i'll show you how so 13 questions from the dynasties only 2017 mein question aaya which of the following was a very important seaport in the kakatiya kingdom ek to hai very important how do you assess what is important what is not important क्योंकि मसूली पटनम भी तो कोस्ट में ही है सो यू अराइव एट दी आंसर अकॉर्डिंग टू यूपीएससी बिकॉज मार्को पोलो हु विजिटेड काकटिया डायनेस्टी रिगार्डेड एंड रोट मेनी थिंग्स अबाउट मोटूपल्ली दैट इट वाज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सी पोर्ट हैंडलिंग वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ ट्रेड ठीक है तो इसलिए मोटूपल्ली इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सी पोर्ट and you have to know about it theek okay? hai then comes your travelers wala question so they don't even ask uh traveler ka naam but they also asked you about the you know uh, in one year they had also asked about the profession ki who was a doctor in some year they have asked about the ruler under whose reign did he or she came Main, mainly he only not she and uh, in 2018 they asked you which traveler discussed about diamonds and diamond mines this is a purely ncert question dekho ncert mein ye adjectives jo diye hue hain that i have highlighted to tell you how you have to read duarte barbosa south india french jeweler jain baptist tavernier ab ye nahi likha hai that he talked about diamond mines He was a तो आपको थोड़ा सा इंटरकनेक्शन करना है राइट इटालियन डॉक्टर मनुची फ्रेंकॉइज बर्नियर डॉक्टर ही वॉज अ फिजिशियन एट द कोर्ट ऑफ दाराशिको सो इफ यू एन सी आर टी इज थ्रोइंग यू नेम्स यू डू द रिसर्च एटलीस्ट प्रोफेशन रूलर टाइम पीरियड right we go ahead very difficult question again according to portuguese writer newness ek to hota hai question who all came ek hota hai usne kya bola the women in vijayanagar specifically women in vijayanagar were experts in ab in questions pe lagte hai tukke <laughs> very honest <laughs> wrestling astrology 
accounting soothsaying. What is soothsaying? Who predicts the future? It's a gold sa hota hai, and they have very long nails, <laughs> and they predict the future. So astrology and soothsaying go hand in hand. Two and four, two and four, two and four, two and four, two and four. No two and four. So two and four, so Ben Bhai is almost. And uh, accounting, wrestling, take a risk. ठीक है. So this was a very again unconventional question. You cannot remember such things. But yes, as I told you, travelers and their observations about society, economy, administration, they have to you have to know, and the travelers' names as well under who, which dynasty and king, right? Okay. Then comes your another question: Who among the following rulers of Vijayanagar Empire constructed a large dam across Tungbhadra River and a canal come adic aqueduct? Several kilometers long from the river to the capital city. Factual question: As I told you, important rulers and their contributions, landmark. ठीक है? तो Dev Raya one again. This is difficult according to me. I don't know about you. ठीक है? है मगर बहुत important. When you read Dev Raya one, this is one achievement which you will be reading, right? And Vijayanagar Empire is important, so the rulers and their contributions also become important. एन सी आर टी का ही क्वेश्चन है ये न्यूनस है मगर क्वेश्चन के फैक्ट्स नहीं है राइट देन कम्स योर पोलिटिकल हिस्ट्री एज आई वॉज टेलिंग यू किंग्स एंड द डायनेस्टी नानुक चंडेला जय शक्ति परमार नाग भट्ट गुजर प्रतिहार बोज राष्ट्रकूतज सो दैट गोज विदाउट सेंग इट इज अ फैक्चुअल क्वेश्चन एंड यू हैव टू नो द डायनेस्टीज एंड दर important rulers nanuk and jay shakti belong to chandel dynasty nagbhat to and boj gujjar pratihar ye gujjar pratihar rashtrakutas palas they had a tripartite struggle with each other and this gujjar pratihar's origin recently in the last 2 3 years also have been covered in the newspapers as a matter of debate to so, uh, you know these regional dynasties you can cover like palas gujjar pratihars rashtrakutas theek hai to so only two pairs are correct nagbhat to and nanuk then comes your another question on dynasties how many of the above dynasties established their kingdoms in early 8th century transitional ancient to medieval 7 to 8 7 to 10th century 7 to 9th centuries Who all were existing? So this question is on early eighth century. Hoysalas, Gaharwalas, Kakatiya, Yadavs. Difficult question according to me again. You might be knowing Hoysalas and Kakatiya that they are after eighth century AD. But what about Gaharwalas and Yadavs, regional dynasty? As I have said, UPSC is now asking questions specifically from this age, seventh to ninth century. any question no then comes your another question so the answer to that question was none theek hai sari after 8th century is the hoysalas around this time period gaharwalas 11 to 12th century kakatiya 12 to 14 ye naam yaad rakhna yadavs were also known as seona or sevuna early 8th century bola tha 850 ad onwards we see their rise early 8th century matlab in the first 10 years middle of the 8th means 850 ad another question on political history nizamat of arcot emerged out of hyderabad state nizamat of arcot did not emerge out of hyderabad state it was existing independently Mysore kingdom emerged out of Vijayanagar yes Rohilkhand kingdom was formed out of territories occupied by Ahmad Shah Durrani Ahmad Shah Durrani's area was Afghanistan and Rohilkhand is 
in Uttar Pradesh around Muradabad area. So they don't go hand in hand. If someone knows Durrani is Afghanistan mein the, they will never mark Rohilkhand. But Rohilkhand pata hona chahiye ki kaha hai, right? So again, I feel that this is a difficult question, but can be answered by reading NCRT because information is almost given over there. ठीक है, ये NCRT है आपकी. Then comes another question from your NCRT itself. Easy question is who among the following rulers of medieval Gujarat surrendered due to Portuguese advent of Europeans? Bahadur Shah. It's it's given in your NCRT also. So it's a static, easy, and fundamental question. Then comes your questions on Mughals or Delhi Sultanate. Zada question nahi hai, five e questions hai. When you are doing Mughals. There are four key concepts which you have to know. Jagedari crisis, Zamindari system, Mansabdari system, and Ijara farming. These are or these have been UPSC's favorites in the last 30 40 years. Very recently, UPSC asked in 2019 again about the differences between Jagirdars and Zamindars. Ye char hamesha yaad rakna, they've been played and asked by UPSC. Jagirdars were holders or land assignments in lieu of judicial and police duties. Jagirs matlab land for revenue. So they were not holders in lieu of judicial and police duties. Uske liye Mughals mein kazi tha. For judicial system, highest position was kazi. So this is wrong first. Second, land assignments to Jagirdars were hereditary. Those persons, whoever was giving them maximum revenue, the Jagirs were given to them irrespective of whether he or she was a son or daughter of a Jagirdar already. So both the statements are wrong. Again, this can be prepared from your NCRT new and old and otherwise from any standard class notes and material. Okay? Four concepts are Jagirdari, Zamindari, Mansabdari and Ijara Fadi. Right? And types of lands. Pola, Chachar. These are also have been asked by UPSC previously. Okay? Then comes your question on Delhi Sultanate. In the revenue administration of Delhi Sultanate, the in charge of revenue collection was known as Amil. Ikta system was an ancient indigenous system. It was prevalent long before and in before India uh, was explored by Delhi Sultans. So it was not indigenous. So two is wrong. The answer is either one or three. Delhi Sultanate may revenue collection in charge was Amil. These posts are important. Right? Mir Bakshi, Mughals, specifically Akbar. So what they are doing, Mughals and Delhi Sultanate offices and revenue functioning is what they are playing together. Okay? So that means administrative aspects, specifically with respect to revenue collection, was always been the most important one. Chai wo Britishers ke liye ho. Mughals or Delhi Sultans and that is what they are asking and you have to focus, right? Then comes another question uh, which was repeated by UPSC as a theme or as a statement. 2021 May they asked, it was during the reign of Il Tutmish that Chinggis Khan reached the Indus in pursuit of fugitive Khwarezm prison which was Jalaluddin. 
ठीक है तो उन्होंने ऑलरेडी पूछ लिया कि इल्तुतमिश के रेन में चंगेज खान हु वॉज दी फर्स्ट मंगोल इन्वेडर केम नेक्स्ट ईयर दे सेड फर्स्ट मुगल इन्वेजन और मंगोल इन्वेजन ऑफ इंडिया हैपन ड्यूरिंग द रेन ऑफ जलालुद्दीन खिलजी तो अगर आपको ये पता था तो ये तो गलत था राइट सो देर आर पैरल विच यू हैव टू ड्रॉ फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर्स सेकेंड इट वॉज ऑक्यूपाइड ड्यूरिंग द रेन ऑफ मोहम्मद बिन तुगलक दैट तैमूर ऑक्यूपाइड मुल्तान एंड क्रॉस द इंडस सो दैट मीन्स टाइम पीरियड तैमूर कब आया मोहम्मद बिन तुगलक का रेन क्या था दिस इज अ डिफिकल्ट फॉर दोज हु आर नॉट कीपिंग ट्रैक विथ द टाइम लाइन मैंने बोला इन्वेडर्स हु एवर हैव बीन चाहे नादर शाह हो मंगोल्स हो तैमूर हो they are to be prepared right it was during the reign of devaraya two of vijayanagar empire that vasco da gama reached the coast of kerala how relevant fact they have asked aapko pata hai ki vasco da gama kab aaya tha kiske reign mein aaya tha or do you understand the vijayanagar dynasties so there have been four dynasties in vijayanagar sangam sullu tullu aravidu देवराया संगम पहले सबसे पहले संगम डायनेस्टी के रूलर्स हैं देवराया ठीक है वास्को डगामा कब आया था लास्ट में 1498 नाइन्टी एट डायनेस्टी लास्ट विजयनगर डायनेस्टी वॉज अरावेडू 1646 सो दिस काइंड ऑफ टाइमलाइन अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज व्हाट दे आर एक्सपेक्टिंग Similarly, during the reign of Alauddin Khalji, one Mongol assault marched up to Delhi and besieged the city. Muhammad bin Tughlaq temporarily lost portions of northwest of his kingdoms to Mongols invasions. Political history may invasions, rulers, timeline is what you need to know if you are targeting Delhi Sultanate, Mughals, this area for prelims. Okay. then comes your very standard question ki with reference to medieval india which one of the following is the correct sequence in ascending order in terms of size to so, delhi sultanate ke time pe ya medieval times mein village was the basic unit uske upar thi sub districts that is your parganas whose head was shikdar then sarkars head fojdar and amal guzar then provinces suba subedar governor theek hai to this is a very standard information which is available in your ncert also theek hai then comes your bhakti sufi questions very difficult difficult hai Sta- uh, 2018 mein pucha about tyagraj and annamacharya Why 2018 में त्यागराज बिकॉज 2017 थाउजेंड सेवनटीन विटनेस्ड इज टू फिफ्टी एथ बर्थ एनिवर्सरी बट दे कम्बाइंड अन्नमाचार्य ऑल्सो तो टाइम लाइन ऑफ विमेन भक्ति सेन्स स्पेसिफिकली विमेन भक्ति सेन्स एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट भक्ति मेल सेन्स आर टू बी डन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच यू पी एस सी हैज आज सो फार सो दे प्ले विद टाइम लाइन दे आस्क यू कंटेम्प्रीज दे आस्क कि वो किसकी डिवोशन करते थे हु वॉज देर फेवरेट गॉड सो इफ समन नोज त्यागराज यू नो रोड सॉन्ग्स इन प्रेज ऑफ लॉर्ड राम फर्स्ट इज रॉन्ग ठीक है त्यागराज क्रिएटेड सेवरल न्यू रागाज येस त्यागराज एंड अन्नमाचार्य व कंटेम्प्रीज नो अन्नमाचार्य कीर्तन वर्ड you know devotional songs in praise of lord venkateshwar this is correct so who was their god which they worshiped their songs were called by different names like basaveshwar ka vachans bor geets of shankaracharya right so these terms are also very important theek hai hai mushkil question but kya kar sakta then comes your another difficult question but 
some information is given in your NCRT with respect to timeline. That is, I, that is what I would highlight. Chalo, question Barlo. Saint Nimbark was a contemporary of Akbar. So, what do you do when you are doing Mughal rulers? Who all Bhakti saints came? Okay, you have to do it alone. You will not find this content in any of the source. Saint Kabir was greatly influenced by Sheikh Ahmed Sirhindi. And whichever source you have, you are not doing it. That's why the second statement also you don't know. So, in your NCRT, there is a timeline given. Religious teachers in the subcontinent. 500 to 800 century, Appar Sambandar Sundar Murthy. Let's see Delhi Sultans or Mughals ke time pe. 1400 to 1500, kaun kaun se diya hoi hai? Bhakti Sains, Kabir, Raida, Surdas, Vallabha Charya, Meer Sayyid Muhammad Daraz, Shankara Dev, Tukaram. So you have to know about the timeline. Question poocha tha UPSE ne. Saint Kabir was greatly influenced by Sir Hindi. Sir Hindi, baad mein aaya. Kabir, pehle aaya. How can he influence him? And this given in NCRT. So anything which you are getting in the form of timeline, grab it. And research more on it. Jaise mene ula Mughals. Unke time pe kaun kaun se hai, you have to make notes. Right? Three questions on terminologies. Hundi kya hota hai? This is a very simple, basic economic concept. Hundis, they are bills of exchange. So it was a very easy question. Whether it pertains to post-harsha or not, in modern day times, hundis are bill of exchange. Right? Then comes your difficult question, but important theme, coinage. Different in different time periods, coins were denoted by different terms in different dynasties. Vijayanagar ke time pe, Panam and Tara were used for the coins, okay, these terms. So which dynasty issued the largest number of gold or silver or lead, copper coins or what terms they used, again are important. Abhi ki baat nahi hai, pehle bhi there have been questions on these lines. So coins, Panam. Panam and Tara, I told you, Vijayanagar Empire, mein, they were the terms used for the coins. So Vijayanagar Empire, as I told you, in medieval India is important. Then comes Kulha Daran, difficult question. Kulha Daran's, agar pata hai ki Sayyads wore a cap like this, which was known as Kulha, uh, then only you will be able to do it. Thik hai? Kuladar paintings bhi hoti hai if I am not wrong. Something or the other is coming to my mind and it's given in your CCRT. I have seen it somewhere, I am not sure. But this was a difficult question. So, unke attire pe, which was very peculiar, Delhi Sultans ke, uh, terms again is what UPSC has asked. But it's a very difficult and random question which they have asked, right? So, that's about it. What are the learnings we take for culture, ancient and medieval? I've already told you, have a smile. <laughs> have a smile. Visualize, understand and do the you know, topics. Yes, certainly, there are some recurrent themes which you can predict and which you can prepare. I'm not saying that you do it all. There has to be a selective approach, but the framework within which you have to do certain things has to be very sure shot. Ki ha, maine Delhi Sultanate kar liya. I know political way mein these things are important, economically these are important, terms ye karne hai, travelers ye karne hai and so and so forth. Right? There are certain things which you cannot touch and prepare. Find out your strengths and weaknesses and play accordingly. Every subject in UPSC cannot be done holistically. That is for sure. I am giving practical advice right now. You can't complete everything. But there are certain essentials which you have to do. When it comes to history, because it's surrounded by facts, rely on test series. 
right? So that's about it. If you have any questions, you can ask me. All clear? I hope not like a vanish. No? All the best. Have a good night. Don't get scared. I was not scaring you. Right? I can understand and empathize with what you go through. And uh, everything is smooth if you make it to be. Right? Yesterday night I watched a movie. Goomer. Z5 pair. It's a very nice movie. Now what was the message which I want to share it with you? There will be obstacles. There will be challenges in your life. Sabki life mein honge, personal life mein honge, right? Who are professionals honge, professional life mein honge. Ghar mein honge, bahar honge, flat mein honge, institute mein honge. Challenges are every there, everywhere. But that movie is about a women cricketer who was very passionate and about to get an opportunity. She got an opportunity to play for India in England. Car accident ho gaya. She lost her hand for a batsman. To lose a hand means she is not playing. But then. She made bowling her strength. She used certain kind of, with the help of Abhishek Bachchan, who was her mentor, she could understand the signs and could do bowling. And she also, in the end, batted to win the match, finally, for India. So, challenge here. But if you are very clear about the passion you have, that is to clear UPSC, come what may, you will be able to succeed it. Right? Many just say bola, this might look very overwhelming, intimidating, too much. There will be other subjects also where other faculties will come and give you their experiences and insights. There will be too much for you, you know. But it is doable. I'm telling you, it's doable. Provided you know the framework. You know what is to be done, what is not to be done. And that's only because of papers and syllabus. Okay? So that's about it. Good night.